Man! Oh, goodness me, I almost didn't make it then. Guys, welcome in. How are you doing today? I don't actually have chat up, so it's really, really not helpful. Great start to the stream today. Uh, guys, welcome, welcome in. How's it going? Uh, first in today, looking over chat. Vinny, how are you doing, man? Welcome in, followed by Mindless, both on Twitch and YouTube. Welcome, YouTube. Welcome, Twitch. Thank you so much, everyone who's joined in for the start today. We're going to be going back into the satisfactory... Um, Plastic and rubber flant, uh, flant, flant. Oh my goodness me, that's a good start. Uh, plant today. Respawn, how are you doing? Welcome. I hope you're well. Thank you so much for the alert. Appreciate it. Little bits. Welcome in. Liquid problems. What liquid problems, eh? We always have liquid problems with with satisfactory. Um, it, it's just it's the way. Goodness me, guys. No, shut up. Save your game. Give me a moment. Unlock I haven't even got the alerts open. Already. I can't see who that was. Oh, yeah. And high total uh, face porn. Killer cats. Thank you so. Did did that say? It did say face palm, right? I definitely heard something else. <laughs> Um, Killer Cats, thank you so much for the Prime Sub. Really do appreciate it. 14 months. Also, Asmo, thank you so much for the 500 bits there. Let me just open up Creator Dashboard so I can actually see what's going on in the Stream Manager. Ah, there we go. That's a little bit better. Um, <laughs> I feel so unprepared today. Um, who else have we got in? Um, Cops Phil, welcome. How's it going? I hope you're well today. Nefanor, not quite first, but I appreciate the effort. Um, <laughs> you're a bit late for that, Nefanor. <laughs> Edna, mi amor, como estas? Espero tu estas bien. Uh, has EA, how are you doing? Wait, Hayes all day even, Daisy. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're well today. Almost misread that. Probably did. Uh, Wild Allen, welcome. Envy, how's it going? I hope you're well. Thank you so much for joining us on YouTube. Uh, Slimy, welcome in. SLM, how's it going? Odium, Star, I hope you're well. Sakatera, goodness me, we've got a, a good few of you in today. Uh, Vigo, of course, welcome. Um, Mindless, why were you delayed? Um, truth be told, I just hadn't finished the thumbnail and I wanted to jump in the shower beforehand. So that, that's why we were delayed. I... I wanted to have a shower before we started stream. <laughs> Jean, how are you doing? Sakatera, welcoming Killer Cats. Good evening. What did you hear, if not facepalm? You don't want to know. <laughs> Greetings and felicitations, children of technology divorce. How are you doing? Welcome in. I hope you're well. Some things are best not asked or answered exactly. Um, Razor, welcome. Milan as well. Guys, welcome. I, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, Clips, are you the man? Ah! Clipster, thank you very much. Appreciate it. I don't know if I am, but I appreciate the uh, the the thought there. Um, <laughs> I just can't take compliments. You guys know this. <laughs> shower? Ooh, I know. Ugh. Who, who would have a shower? Uh, Razor, how are you doing? Ah! Welcome in. Man, Sakutera, thank you so much for the sub. 11 months. Trains, we, we will have trains in the build, certainly. Also, um, Sakutera, thank you so much for the gifted sub to, to Odium as well. Thank you so, so much. Odium, how are you doing? Ah! I hope you're well. Tag me, guys. What a start! We, we've not even got into stream. Well, we have got into stream, but I, I've hardly done anything. We've just opened up the stream. Thank you so much. He wanted to smell good for you. For you, Edna, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't use soap. Oh, no. I I, I just wanted a bit of a, uh, you know, a, a, a tinkle under the shat. 
That that makes it sound like I just wanted to have a pee in the shower. <laughs> Don't smell nice. I didn't use soap. Didn't use any shampoo. None of that. I just need a bit of water. Oh goodness me, Asmo! Edna is the much better half. All hail Edna. <laughs> All hail Edna. <laughs> the goddess. Um, also, hype trains. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Hype trains as well. Of course. Uh, Colada, how are you doing? Hello. Welcome. Guys, do let me know if the alerts are okay, both on YouTube and Twitch. I have reduced them slightly in terms of volume for you guys. I still get a good big bang uh, whenever I hear 500 bits coming through. Goodness me. <laughs> Is the boom doing okay? Yes, it's fine. <laughs> Valencia, thank you very much. Any plans for TwitchCon? Um, so I haven't actually seen this. Are you planning any accidents today? Hopefully not. Man, Odium, thank you so much. I hope you are, man. I hope you are. Welcome, welcome. Glad to have you in today. Um, uh, TwitchCon Europe this year for you, Total. We don't know. Is the the true on uh, like? answer to that i'd love to go to gamescom this year if i can fit that in um twitchcon is it's about the community and it's also oh my goodness me about the i wanted to tell you it's only two days now yay star <laughs> thank you very much for the 500 bits only two days not so long not so long at all i i Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we may we may go to TwitchCon. I'm not 100% sure it's going to be about finances. Um, obviously, you all know we're trying to buy a house this year, so it's, it's certainly more difficult than usual. We didn't last year because we were at the other side of the world, but we still went to San Diego this year. I, I honestly don't know and won't know until closer to the date. Uh, close one on, on the drink. Yeah, well, almost. I'm trying not to spill my water whenever we, we stream. <laughs> uh, SLM, the total everything is going well. Busy with resetting everything on my PC. Will you be present at TwitchCon Europe again this year? I would love to. We'll be in the Netherlands again in Rotterdam. Yeah, I, I heard... You told me. And then I didn't look it up. Nope. No, I don't. You're going to chill with me. Yay! Edna's gonna sit and stream today. So that means no more flashbangs, guys. Edna's just chilling there. I don't want her to be flashed by you guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> um, first time here as a live video. Well, it's a live stream, so co later. Welcome in. Um, if you have any questions, any uh, anything you want to know, do let me know. We are going to be jumping into Satisfactory shortly. We normally start off with a little bit of talking uh, just to, to get a feel as to how everyone is today and to give my eyes a chance to settle from all the, uh, the flashing lights. <laughs> Uh, but welcome, I'm glad to have you here. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, this game makes my coffee go cold! If there is no flashbangs at Edna's stream, then we should do some bangers here. Why? <laughs> um, speaking of which, I, I, I think we're, we're getting ready. We're, we're hopefully gearing up at the start of next month, the end of this month, to uh, sauna Edna's streaming setup. Possibly. Possibly. She's looking there and she's like, don't talk about it. <laughs> she's really excited. <laughs> just, just, she's staring at me. Uh, Malaysia, thank you so much for the 500 bits. Uh, Hype Train level two. Guys, thank you so, so much for the support. Uh, if we do get to a full 100% level five Hype Train, we do have a little tipple of whiskey. Um, but I have been teetotal since New Year's. Given it's only been 16 days, that doesn't sound great. <laughs> uh, any tips for nuclear power? I've unlocked it now. Vigo, awesome. Um, balance out your, your your radiation, anything that's producing uh, like your nuclear waste. Yeah. If you load balance your belts, you're going to have as little um, radiation there, which means you should be able to run around without any issues. Um, don't use her as an excuse. I would, wouldn't would dream of it, Eddie. Uh, Zazu, how are you doing? Welcome in. Thank you so much for joining us today. I do have a question. What is the answer to the universe? Uh, 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 um, um. I know this one. 
42. <laughs> I googled it. <laughs> no, I, I'd totally forgotten what the number was. I thought it was 420 and I was like, that doesn't sound right, actually. <laughs> uh, so what does this, um, the missus stream then? So Edna does stream. So, oh, she's gone. She just dis disappeared. I, I saw her walk out, but she'd left her phone and now the phone's disappeared. Um, so 42, 42, 42. Um, she plays some games, but generally it's more live stream. She's still working out what it is that she wants to, to stream about really. Um, but I always look forward to her streams. Uh, Samuel, welcome in. How are you doing? I hope you're well today. Yes, yes. <laughs> Good morning, Malriva. How are you doing? You got it. I did? Whew. Crisis averted. <laughs> Sorry, what, 42? What was the question again? The answer to the universe. Zazu is pronounced Shasa, Shasa, Shasa. Ah, I, I had, I had no idea. Um, Earth Dweller, thank you very much. Uh, a lot of people think it's Port <laughs> Yeah, uh, this is a PG stream. <laughs> uh, Digo, thank you so much for the follow -by. Glad to have you in today. I hope you're well today. Having a snow day. We had one yesterday. It wasn't, it wasn't like terribly like snow, like we weren't snowed in. We only had like an inch, half an inch, but we had snow, which was nice. Uh, but I hope you're enjoying it. SLM, if you are all going, um, then I will definitely consider coming to TwitchCon to meet you. Uh, we we would love to, and I'd love to take Edna around the like to, to various places in the Netherlands as well. And I, I've not stayed in Rotterdam, but I have been through Rotterdam. And it looks lovely, so it would be nice. But it's it really does come down to the finances this year. Me and me and Edna have some quite big goals. We're we're trying to get the house by the end of the year, and so every single penny that we can put into savings, we are. Um, and if we can hit our targets um, by when do, have they announced what when the when TwitchCon is like what date this year at 11 a.m. here in the Dutch Limburg we have a snowing going oh very nice 11 a.m. it's 11 a.m. for you Dutch Limburg where are you, Valetia? You're, you're not the other side of the world, are you? For some reason, I thought you were in, like, Central Europe. Um, but total, if you go to TwitchCon Netherlands, we can meet up again, and we can finally meet up with Edna! I know, that, that would be fantastic. Um, I think that would be really nice. But it really does come down to, like, us. 29th to 30th of June. Oh, blooming now. It's not even like that long away. January, February, March, April, May, June, six. Half a year. I, I need to know these things two years in advance. I am terrible. <laughs> yeah, meet up. I'm in. It, it would be good if we could. Limburg, a province in the Netherlands. Wait. Oh, so at 11 a.m. it was... Oh, yeah, I think you said that as well, didn't you? And I just misread it. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, uh, in? No. It. <laughs> uh, the Time Panda, how you do? Welcome in today. I hope you're well. Um, someone from the very south also? Hmm. I'm in the Netherlands, but the snow... Uh, yeah. No, that was just me misreading that. I do apologize. Well, there you go. Lars, how are you doing, by the way? Many Dutch people. We do. We have a very strong Dutch presence in the, uh, the not only the satisfactory community, but specifically our community, it would seem. But it's awesome. I, I love the Netherlands. I, I've been there twice. Maybe three times this year. All right, let's get the game open. Uh, now you know you have five and a half months to connect uh, enough bottles to sell for money so you can go to TwitchCon. Wait, w enough bottles of what? <laughs> collect enough bottles. Wait, but what type of bottles? Uh, it's Thomas Bubblebutt of Berlin. <laughs> what? Why, Good afternoon. <laughs> Hope you've been having a good day. 
<laughs> shows thank you so much for welcoming i thank you i really do appreciate it thank you for the 500 bits and flashing me before we get started i'm, I'm so lucky <laughs> <laughs> this is the only only job where it's reasonable <laughs> to say I get flashed for work. <laughs> um, Shames, thank you so much. Appreciate it. I hope you're well today. Oh, and I have a phone call, guys. So just give me one moment. Let me see who that is. Oh, it's my mum. Uh, I'll just be two seconds. <laughs> okay, it's all fine. It's all fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Crisis averted. Uh, Mama Eclipse. Yes. Hey, if you're on Twitch, you have the and you're you're subscribed. You have the Mama Eclipse um, remote. And you have Mama Eclipse there. Hey, how are you doing? Terminal Velocity. I hope you're well today. Welcome in. Any bottle with... W what is that, Lars, dare I ask? I, I have no idea. There you go. You can see it. For those of you who are, are seeing that alert... At that alert, that emote, that was from when I was living at home just after the COVID and we started really pushing the content. By the way, I am jumping in game. Um, oh, you won't be able to see because I was playing a different game yesterday, which you will see maybe next week. Uh, because there, there, there's quite a big, like... Oh, I, I can't talk about anything. I'm under NDA. It's the only reason they gave me access to uh, to, to have a look at the uh, the game. But the, there's a game that I think a lot of you will like to play, and there's a demo coming up for it. Uh, just finished lunch. Nice shows. Amazing tuna. Oh, don't don't make me hungry for a tuna melt. Oh. English don't know anything about don't know about it. Wait, English don't know about recycling. Oh, I understand target. I was confused, but when when we were in Argentina, we'd get paid for bottles, returning them back. They they don't pay us here in the UK. The UK are stingy when it comes to recycling. They don't pay us for nothing. They just give us fines if we don't do it. <laughs> I'm making cheeseburger and fries. Oh, we had a burger yesterday. Um, Edna made it herself. Oh my god, it's me. At Edna Berg, always happy to see you in chat. Always happy to see you in chat. <laughs> All right, whenever anyone says anything to Edna, you, you, you have to get Brian to say it. Like, you, you can't talk. She doesn't pay attention to chat, guys. <laughs> She'll only hear it from Brian. <laughs> Is a deposit on beverage or other containers that you get back when you... Yeah, we, we had that in Argentina. Um, Mador, how are you doing? Welcome in. I hope you are. Guys, if you are on YouTube and you're enjoying the content, I know we've only just started the stream, but if you're watching the VOD as well and you enjoy the content, make sure to hit the thumbs up. It really does help the, the live stream VOD get out to more people. Um, English saved their glass bottles to throw up for a ball game. <laughs> hey, that was a long time ago. <laughs> uh, Mega Boy, thank you so much for the Prime sub as well. Guys, thank you so much for the support. Uh, oh goody, another stream, more pipe. We, we're going to finish this today. I'm pretty certain, I'm not pretty certain. I'm, I'm hopeful. <laughs> I'm hopeful that we will finish it today. So we need to work out, we have four of these. I need, I need to do the, like the merging. We have four of these, 60, 120, 240, um, 300, and 600 in total. So if we do it as fives, 
Oh, that doesn't make sense. I'm gonna have to redo it. Okay, so we will just, rather than try and make it complicated, we will merge them underneath. We'll have 240 on the first two sections and then 120. Down here. Oh wait, 243. Yeah, nah, nah. Yeah. Let's let's just do it like that. 240 and 360. I'm I'm not messing around. <laughs> just do it as quick as possible because we got a lot to do. Crazy! <laughs> Oh, and you're streaming on the other platform. We are. We're streaming both to Twitch and YouTube. Um, we've been doing that for, I don't know, for the last month or so. And we're enjoying it. It's going pretty well, all things considered. I, It's had a little bit of a negative impact on YouTube viewership, I think. But, I mean... That's why we're changing the content. The next video will be out tomorrow. We will probably do the videos for the channel, unless it's a special event, like the release of Entrouded next week. We'll be doing videos on Thursdays from now on because that is the day that gives us two whole days of content on, uh, on YouTube prior to the next... Who was that? What was that bang? James, <laughs> thank you so much. I can't see the stickers and it really annoys me. What's that? What? Wait, what's what? What's that? Delete your... No. No. <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll release the videos on a Thursday so that they have Thursday and Friday to perform. And then on Saturday, we'll be back with the live streams. Uh, thank you very much, Muda, for the follow and Mal Reaver as well. Appreciate it, guys. Glad to have you here. Man! Okay, so this is 40 of... Do we say how many? I don't actually know how much we're supposed to be doing. Makushio, thank you so much for the Prime sub, man. Uh, did you see the... Satisfactory speedrun uh, this morning on GDQ. Two packages. Two packages? Uh, 20 minutes? Oh, wow. No, I haven't. I haven't. I've, I've never been that interested in the speedrun. I find it interesting how they do it, but it's just not something that interests my play, play style. But now I've been. <sighs> no eaters, deleters of the inventory, only flash booms. <laughs> the flash booms. <laughs> <laughs> no yeeters, deletus. <laughs> no, that that was a long time ago. We we won't repeat that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Valencia and Makushia as well. Thank you so much. Have you ever done three D modeling? That wasn't you, was it? One moment, guys. The lights have just gone out. Oh my god. <laughs> Did someone say flash? Oh, you know what's on battery, that's why. Thank you very much for lighting up my life. <laughs> Shows. <laughs> now it's, uh, are you going to be using this one? Okay, can I take that out? There we go. Oh, fantastic. I saved the light. <laughs> um, no, I haven't done any 3D modeling. I'm working on a personal avatar and my rig can barely handle it despite the opti with my optimizations and efforts. I wouldn't be, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do anything. I'd be useless. I really am useless when it comes to doing any kind of modeling. I created a, in the very early to uh, Total Eclipse days, I did Total Eclipse as a 3D model in Blender. And my goodness me, it took me weeks couldn't do it black rider thank you so much for the hundred bits man really do appreciate it how are you doing today ah, I shouldn't have said anything. Ah, Valencia! <laughs> thank you so much i think he had his face 
Oh, close to the flashlight. Yeah, it was, it was pretty close. Tag me. I'm not a big fan of speedrunning, but I like to watch GDQ. Game's done quickly, right? Uh, because it's more of a speedrunning showcase. Yeah, I know that Snut was paying close attention to it. Um, I think it's really fascinating how they managed to do it. It's just not my... My dog says, when are you going to learn? <laughs> I'm sorry. Never. I, I'm, I'm an old dog. You can't, you can't teach me new tricks. And it's like, what are you on about this time? <laughs> I love, could you close the door? <laughs> Please, <laughs> it's getting cold. <laughs> she just walked out and left it open. Um, right, so we have um, one more, one, one moment, guys. Let me just. Oh my god! The cold is good for you. I'm not on stream. I can't see that. I'm opening up satisfactory tools to see what we're doing. <laughs> It's totally getting me. The cold is good for me. It's very co uh, cold at the moment. It was uh, like one degree in the house yesterday. I was like, okay, we need to put the heating on. <laughs> Thank you, Shades, for the 500 bits. Black Rider for the 100 bits with a screaming goat. <laughs> he needs some fresh air. What is this thing? I don't do fresh air. <laughs> now, I said back. <laughs> right. We're looking at not adaptive control units. We need to do oh, wait, unpackaged fuel, packaged water. A hundred and hundred and six. I'm not saying I regret doing this, but I kind of regret <laughs> doing this. Oh dear. Hundred and six. So we are forty in. We need rubber. Did I turn the rubber factory off? No, we've got some. Thy magnificent one has returned the, the magnificent one. Who is this? Did he get flash banged out of the room? <laughs> oh, please leave the door open. Don't do it. The designing isn't that hard to learn, actually. I'm self-taught and my first project is looking pretty good. The problem is that it's a time-consuming process to make a model. I'm just not that talented, obviously. <laughs> It was minus 19 centigrade and my power went out on Saturday. That was, oh my goodness. I, I wouldn't be able to cope, Ian. I hope it's all right and it, it all got sorted. Your camera has a strange quirky shake whenever the bright flash happens. Is that another bug with satisfactory? No, that is me shaking. That is me, that is me very much shaking. <laughs> Chaos, man, I am not too bad, thank you. How are you doing? I hope you're well. We're uh, back at the grind. <laughs> were you streaming? You were streaming today because you do four day, five days a week, right? Doing fine. Glad to hear it. What were you doing in your stream today? Okay. Oh no, we need steel. Seven days. Oh goodness me, man. That's a lot of work. How many hours do you stream for? I don't have the patience to do speedruns. I'd rather find investigate the exploits they use. Yeah, don't know about the mod, but I like building with the fly mode for these large factories. It definitely helps. I need to get some beams if we're going to be doing this. Uh, shows, thank you for the 500 bits. Fly, fly mode definitely helps if you're trying to do something like this, but obviously we're doing a no mod play thing. No mod, as he's playing with mods. Um, we're trying not to have any, like, to change the vanilla build system. It's probably the best way. Don't forget to drink. Yes, do keep calm and stay hydrated, guys. DSP and the Giga Project, but run in a problem with walks out here. Well, I do always six hours. Okay, so si I, uh, I mean, six hours is still a lot. That's that's full time. Bebo, welcome in. How's it going? Not too bad, thank you. How are you? 
Yeah, six hours. I, I struggle with more than four hours. Um, every now and then, like, I think next Wednesday we'll be doing a 12-hour stream, um, starting with Enshrouded in the morning. And I just, I really struggle after that. Um, learning Blender feels like being put in the cockpit of a Russian space shuttle, assuming you can't read Russian and told, see on the moon. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one that feels that way. Frozen, hello. Hello, Mr. Eclipse. What's up, my man? All's good here. How are you doing? I hope you're well. You know, controls need to be com uh, complicated and would make sense if you kn knew what you were doing, but it's like, what? <laughs> okay, we're good. We can keep going straight. No problems with this. I'm going to slow down because we have a habit of going so fast that we can't slow down before hitting any trains in front of us. Just got to aluminum for the first time. Congratulations. Not sure what I should prioritize as far as outputs. What do you mean as far as outputs? Me. Full speed ahead. Variable! <laughs> Thank you very much, man, for the 500 bits there. Goodness me. We are not going full speed ahead. I will not be doing that. Like, if I should pro prioritize casing or alclad sheets, initially alclad sheets, because they're going to be what you use for the Mark V belts, and you're going to want to use them in your, your, your factory all the time. You'll be streaming Shrouded? Yes, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna cover in Shrouded, I think. I'm also going to be doing some videos for it as well. The UR? Ah, how you doing? Welcome in. What's that in regards to? Oh yeah, thanks for the advice. No worries. Are you playing on the server? No, we're just on our, our save. Uh, Felix. My father just sent me a meme from the 100 billion people that ever lived. 8 billion are still alive. So that means you have a 92% chance of dying. No. <laughs> no 100% chance? Hmm. <laughs> The nurse taking my blood feels chat is bullying you with the flashbangs. <laughs> um, yeah, no, well, yeah. <laughs> please, please, nurse, if you're taking blood, um, mute the stream, close it off. I don't want, I don't want any like <laughs> twitching when when the odd flashbang comes through. <laughs> I, I don't want that on my conscience. <laughs> Yeah, no, we, we, we do have quite a few flashbangs. Did you ever find uh, massive for your wedding? As in, as in, um, flower? Do you love Edna or chat more? Wait, do I love Edna or chat more? Ian, that is not bullying when he put it in place for us. <laughs> Shobes, it feels like you're trying to justify this. <laughs> Um, I would say that, wait, what was the answer? Do I learn? There is only one answer and you clearly know what that is. So I will leave it to your imagination. <laughs> there we go. That should allow everything. Yeah, everything's running now. Um, Devoris, I hope the radio show goes well. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it and I hope it goes well. Um, Void, sunglasses won't help if it, this keeps on like this. You will feel, need a welding. <laughs> Could you imagine? Corn, yes. Um, can you just get corn and grind it? The problem with the corn here is that the, the corn is too sweet. Um, it, it's, it's like super sweet. Well, it, it's sweet corn, but it's super sweet compared to what we're accustomed to in Mexico. And so it's a bit difficult to use corn. Um, Edna tried that for pan de elote, which is like um, a sweet bread dessert that they do in, in Mexico. And it was incredibly sweet. Just for shits and giggles. <laughs> Can you get my second? We, 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 we have found a provider of mice, um, maize. And it's it's fine. We can use that. It's just that it it tends to be quite expensive. Instead of paying 
a couple of pence for a bag of, of flour we end up paying like six seven quid for it but i mean for special occasions it's fine Edna or chat? The answer is satisfied. <laughs> we grind it our own here, but we're in the USA. Uh, made 400 tamales on New Year's. Oh, wow. That was quite the mission, I'm sure. Delicious, though. <sighs> I, I think one of the, the things that we are really missing at the moment is tamales. Which is funny because we didn't even, we don't tend to have much tamales. Uh, tamales, I really want what you see. But I think it's because over Christmas on the Day of the King, you have rosca de rey, which is like a, another sweet bread with fruit and, and sugar. And, oh my goodness, me! Why don't you love us? I didn't say that. You assume that. That is your problem, not mine. I never said that today. <laughs> ben, how you doing? Welcome in. I hope you're well today. Oh, I thought that train was going awfully quick then. Uh, yeah, sorry. With uh, the Rosca del Reis, uh, you, you cut it and you share it with the family. And if there's a little idol of like a, a cherub... No, it's not a cherub. It's a baby Jesus, right? Uh, if you get that, then you have to buy tamales for the family. <laughs> but of course, we, we haven't had tamales. Um, so we've just been missing it. Three Kings. It's not January the 6th. That it is um, when when they celebrate it. And then after that is when you, you get the tamales. You find out who has to, to pay for the tamales then. Uh, I only really had tamales at Christmas. Oh, really? We we certainly didn't have it all the time, but we'd have it once or, or twice, a, probably once a month. Maybe twice. Baby, oh, it is baby Jesus. There's seven of us. We did chicken verde and picked with jalapenos and cheese. You see, I'm not too keen on jalapenos and cheese. I like cheese. <laughs> I can skip the jalapeno, but I would love the salsa verde. Um, chicken verde, sorry. Salsa Verde is something that I really miss. Um, if you did get it here, you host the next party. Have you done a posada? We we didn't really do a... What do we call it? A posada? We, we had a, a day where we had a, a posada, for those of you who don't know. It's like when you get together with friends for Christmas, like a Christmas party, I guess you would say. You just celebrate and have food and drink or what, what have you. But we, we kind of did that with, with my, my best friend from, from secondary school and um, his best friend from university. And we, um, his best friend from university has two kids. And so we just, we went around there. We had a nice like Christmas meal, had a few drinks and watched movies and had snacks, which was nice. Serrano peppers are goated. I, uh, I, 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 I've had them. I'm, I'm not too keen on Serrano. I'm five, thanks. How are you? You're five. Five years old, Ben. I know that's a lie. <laughs> um, let me have. A look. Oh wow, likes that blue lines. Oh, on the side. Yeah, that was, a, that was a fun one to do. There's this amazing Colombian restaurant in Philadelphia, man. You see, there's so many places I need to travel. Like, I'd, I'd love to just do a food tour of every country in the world. It's just food is where it is, but... Oh, balls. Balls. We have to go all the way around because I messed that up. Yeah... Edna's sister made me have a Serrano. Um, she, she meant have a bite. I had the whole thing. On my birthday as well. That was hot. 
a video of Serotag. Um, he made a factory of a million screws per minute. Yeah, I couldn't do that. I, I hate screws. Screw screws! <laughs> I hope you don't support this Serato blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> Bowls of food? Bowls of food? Are you good in chemistry lessons? Um, I used to be quite good in, in science, but I'm terrible now. I just can't remember anything. It's the same with, well, everything, unfortunately. Swaggy, how you did? I hope you hope you're well. I hope you're well today. You will crash. Yeah, right. No such thing. I'm not accusing you of lying. Or am I? <laughs> now I know you're fake. You're not naming food. You're just reading off city names in California. <laughs> It's Philadelphia in California. Indian food in the UK is mostly westernized Indian food. Yeah, well, it, it's it's British Indian food. It's kind of, I don't know, it's like made for an English audience. And so it tends to be much milder, quite often sweeter. There are some spicy um, meals some spicy uh, English Indian foods, but it's not the same. I just vomited in my mouth. Why? Why? Over what? I love spicy food, really miss a good taco with green sauce and like, wait, is that why you're vomiting? Shows you don't like my wife's like taste palette. What is your problem? <laughs> Philly is in PA. What's PA? Pal. Pa. Hits, but no. Pa. Pa. Who just deleted my inventory? Guys, do we have any saviors? Do we have any saviors? I haven't put any. I'm gonna have to go back to the storage if we don't do, don't have a savior. Please. And thank you, Lord Tor. <laughs> Oh, and Zan as well! Goodness me. Guys, thank you so much. Oh my goodness me. Pennsylvania. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Pennsylvania. That begins with a P and ends with an A. Is that how they do the PA? All right, fun. Thank you very much, Magnus. I appreciate it. Boo! Yeah, boo you! Boo you! Ian the Wonder Dog for trying to do mud that oh it's because I'm looking at chat it wasn't re that's why I always die not die why I always crash in game because I'm I jump over to chat try to catch up with it don't realize I need to tab back over to satisfactory and <laughs> I hate this game <laughs> <laughs> Gummy, thank you so much. Crash. Gummy, thank you so much for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Time the Panda, thank you so much for the 500 bits and shows. Goodness, it's not Pavo. This is horrendous. Mr. Bob Bobbington, welcome in. I started watching two minutes ago. It, it, it's all going down from there, I promise you. <laughs> it's typical. It really is. All oh, right, let's re re reverse this. Don't blame us for your text. I wasn't even on my phone that time. <laughs> Worth it. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Oh, this stream's brutal to me. It really is. Oh. Wait, and there were three? There weren't three. Tr no, no, you just stopped. Okay. Typical. The competitors break it. That's what you get for driving on the wrong side of the tracks. Oh, no, we did crash into this one as well. Oh, no, we didn't. No, we didn't. 
It's it's controlling itself. Ooh. Wait, what? Why did you stop there? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's just a long... What I do need to do is add a few more. Um, let me just do the command. Oh, wait, you've... Yeah, we need to up that. There we go. 56 crashes. Goodness me. Remember how I said I believe it's illegal to reverse a train outside of designated track segments a few streams ago? That is why. Psst. They can't help it. They don't have anyone in to watch it. AI is it, it's doing us all, I promise you. <laughs> Kiwi Rob, how you doing? Welcome in. Mm, Mexican would be great right now, but my only option is Taco Bell. We... We haven't tried the Taco Bell here. I, I just, I think I'll be disappointed if I try Taco Bell in the UK. I, I, th I think I'll be disappointed if I try Taco Bell, and I, because of that, I can't really justify trying to like spend money on it. it. Doesn't help that me and Edna aren't having like takeaway at the moment. Since, since when what? Man, I join in total eats. Wait, what's that? What did you join on? Remember, kids, don't stream and drive. <laughs> man, uh, man, I joined uh, and total eat spicy food, then inventory purge, save, and then crash. A lot of action in three minutes. Wait, did you not think I eat spicy food? I, I enjoy spicy food, just in moderation. It's my butt that doesn't. <laughs> to be frank. Uh, is this game coming to PlayStation? I wouldn't hold your breath. I mean, I if they... They could, I'm sure they would, but you won't hear about that until after 1.0 if they even think about it. Me and my homies hate Total's inventory, apparently so. Uh, Trexaman, how you doing? Is the UK as big on street tacos as... No, we have hardly any, uh, like, Mexican food, and even less good Mexican food in, uh, in the UK. Something I'd love to change. Uh, this dude, Jono, welcome in, how you doing? Hope you're well today. Hey, the good news is that now we've had an inventory delete, I can pick up all my rubber without having to worry about someone trying to delete it. Taco Bell is Mexican food as Domino's pizza is too Italian. So, Domino's pizzas. But it's... Pizza. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Taco Bell is good, apparently, but it's not Mexican. I mean, it's really cheap, generally. Wait, what's that? Taco Bell. I mean, it's not... I mean, it's not terribly uh, expensive. It's more... It's probably more... <laughs> my goodness me. The sound of your butt after spicy food. <laughs> <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny that statement. <laughs> <laughs> um, Taco Bell in the UK I wouldn't say it's necessarily cheap um, I don't think it's as cheap as it is in the US um, would be yeah I, I think that's fair it's not as cheap as it would be in the US we need to bring this across Um, it, it, it's probably, it's more expensive than like your, your domino, uh, your domino, uh, could, yeah, it's probably more expensive than dominoes, but it's definitely more expensive than like McDonald's and the likes here. I'd say Taco Bell is probably on, in terms of price, around the same price as, um, oh, what is it? Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC. To be deleted! How's it going? Welcome in. I hope you're well today. Thank you so much for joining us. Everyone is disappointed after eating Taco Bell. I, I, I just fear that I will be like super, super disappointed. Yeah, British spicy. No, no, no. I, I genuinely enjoy like hot food. 
not to the point where I can't speak, which is what Edna's mum tries to force feed me. She, she likes to see me, like, have hot food. <laughs> she, she's trying to uh, climatize me to, to real spicy food. But as far as, like, Brits go, I'm, I'm pretty good at handling hot food. And I, I will go to the an Indian restaurant and buy some of the hot the hottest dishes. Spicy food. Hey, I have to handle hot food. My wife is Mexican. She don't like mild food. <laughs> There's a brewery with a food truck to me that has bomb spicy carne asada tacos. Oh, nice. Domino's up their quality a few years ago. They are merely me mediocre now. I still still really enjoy. Like I, I, I don't feel you can go wrong with the Domino's if you like. You've got some friends around. It's like easy pizza. But if I'm having like pizza at home, I'll make it myself from from scratch. The best Mexican food here can, comes out of a truck and definitely doesn't pay taxes. Uh, I mean, some of the, the best tacos that I've had in Mexico are in like this tiny little shop in uh, Mexico City that is rammed. Like you have lines down the street. It's just so good. But you can get like fantastic street um, tacos. I don't think McDonald's qualifies as food. Okay, that's fair. That, that's <laughs> that's fair. McDonald's, if you are watching the stream, consider sending me some some food for free advertise. Actually, don't. I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> don't do that. We we've been trying really hard, me and Edna, to um, like be more fit. And today marks. 15 days of walking 10,000 steps a day, at least. We're super chuffed. I'm super chuffed, at least. And it, it, it shows because I've lost 4kg in two weeks. Is it, is it bad? It's better than I was anticipating. Um, crispy chicken, soft taco, crunchy taco, regular fries, or nachos, chur churros, and caramel dip. Um, so nine ninety nine for that. Two crispy chicken. Yeah, it's about the same same price as like KFC. At least what I remember to be KFC. <laughs> I haven't had KFC in, in a long time. Yeah. When did I have KFC? Oh, no, yeah, you're right. No, it was when? When was it? It, it was. It was when we went to Yorkshire, which was November. End of November. But in my defense, I was starving, and that was the only thing they had other than Burger King. And they had this... What was it? It was like a barbecue... Yeah, the, the chips were really good at KFC. I wasn't that bothered about the burger in the end. It was still blooming it. That's how I know how expensive it was. It was blooming expensive. I bought like a, a meal and a coffee for 12 quid. Um, orders total clips, 250 packs of chicken nuggets. Don't, please don't ever do something like that. <laughs> the thing is, I'd eat it. <laughs> um... Oh, I had McDonald's in the Netherlands. That was actually really good. It shut my whole world view. Really? Spicy Korean chicken tacos. Mm, that sounds really good. I really like barbecue, um, Korean barbecue chicken. Total most non, -Brit non Brits like flavor. No, no. Let's 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 put this to bed, right? I get that this is a running joke, but I think the problem comes down to the vast majority of countries where, which state this are countries that were highly dependent on salting their meats because of heat. And so they're used to having a lot of salt. And in order to taste food, they now have to over flavor. Edna's giving me like, like death stares. 
and she agrees. We've had this conversation before. She's, she, uh, I'm sleeping on the floor tonight. But that's why we have amazingly good tasting food. If you don't like salt <laughs> in excess. Uh, Domino's is drunk pizza. Best late night after heavy drinking. Oh, yes. I'm about to get like attacked by everyone. Hi, Edna's voice. <laughs> It's like five pounds a week. Yeah, I, I don't think I'll be able to keep that up. But the fact that we have, like, I normally really struggle with losing weight. Um, it's it's something that I can only do by, um, like, being excessively active. Like, we're, we're talking doing shows and touring where I'm not getting regular meals and I'm, like, doing a... Tangler! <laughs> We ordered Ted or chicken wings, doing lots of dancing and like running around on stage and setting up and tearing it down. Uh, and no, McDonald's literally doesn't count as food. It's more preservatives than actual food. I only ever eat, be, uh, eat Burger King. I love it. Extra large. I do. I So in terms of burgers, if you're going to a fast food restaurant, I think Burger King's burgers are actually pretty good. Bad total, bad. <laughs> Everyone's just gone quiet. <laughs> Turtles insulted everyone. <laughs> if I could have any food right now, what would it be? I don't actually know what it would be. Viewers dropped by 50%. <laughs> you say that, but Nordic countries in Canada have flavorful food. And heat isn't an issue there. So no salting. <laughs> Can't believe you're sleeping on Shake Shack. Um, I've had Shake Shack and I'm really... Again, I didn't dislike it. But I didn't have anything like... Fantastic to say about it. It wasn't like over the moon, this is the best... Thing ever. Uh, same f goes for um, Five Guys. I don't see the obsession with my friends with that. The what? Uh, five Guys. The seasoned chips. Well, I tried their chips. They gave me a bucket load. I paid 20 quid for a burger and a ton of chips, like too many chips, and a milkshake, which wasn't really up to much. So se seasoned chips then make the meal for you. I ain't going back to try seasoned chips. I'll just get chips. I'll just get seasoned chips, nothing else. Have you ever tried Culver's? No, what's Culver's uh, zero? Everyone unfollowed. <laughs> Everyone left. Um, I'm try oh, I swear there's somewhere that I'm, I think's underrated when it comes to... Yeah, I can't remember. I just... Water bottles for the... Wi water bottles? <laughs> Tremanuel, how are you doing? I find most fast food burgers to be overly salty, especially... A, what's A and W? Yeah, I, I, we went to a like this really nice looking um, burger place in Mexico, and it was so like Edna really enjoyed it, loved it. For me, I wasn't able to eat it. I think the burger place. Yeah, they gave us a chocolate because we were waiting for free, which was really nice, and that was the nicest part of the meal because everything was so salted that. I, I felt I was like a, a, a cow on a salt lick, you know? D no, it was horrid. It was, it was the worst, and it was like 30 quid for the two of us, which isn't excessive. I mean, it, actually that is excessive in Mexico for a burger and chips. Um, it, it was really expensive there, but it just... Yeah, I, I mean, I did enjoy street burgers in Mexico. Um, it's just really bad quality meat. <laughs> I just like, hmm, uh, like, what am I me eating? <laughs> but it tastes good. Don't deny it. 
I hope you're doing well. I'm good, thanks. Are you telling me you wouldn't want that material in your body? That you would want that material? Oh, you mean the, like, the preservatives. Wendy's! Yes, Zero, actually, you're absolutely right. That was the one I was thinking of. We had Wendy's for the first time the week that we came to the UK. And I was genuinely impressed with it. I thought the the sh the, the the milkshake was pretty good, very thick, but pretty good. Wouldn't wouldn't dunk my chips in it. I thought the chips were all right, but the burger was actually rather nice. Yeah, I, I was impressed with Wendy's. Would have again Nando. I don't know if I'd class Nando's as fast food. Do you do you class Nando's as fast food, guys? Nando's is like fast restaurant food to me, <laughs> not fast food. <laughs> Do I want Chinese? I'd love Chinese, but we're not. We're, we're on a strict diet. That is a reward for one of the many goals that we have set. <laughs> um, used to be great birders. There's some amazing and some terrible. Never, never heard of it. Oh, Wendy's are great. Yes, yeah. Never heard of Wendy's? Yeah, I think they came out of nowhere, really, in, in the UK. I, I, I'd heard of them, I, but not really ever considered it. And then out of nowhere, everyone seems to be, like, enjoying Wendy's. Ooh. Oh, my God. Wendy's Spicy Asiago Ranch is phenomenal. <laughs> Shit, thank you very much. We'll have to try that at some point. Asiago Ranch. <laughs> I was just looking at me like what just happened? <laughs> you scared Edna? <laughs> the Wendy's I've had are tasty, but you can feel your arteries clogging up. Yeah, I mean that's with most fast food though, right? Wendy's is so good. You see, everyone can ag no, agree on this. So, Nando's. Is Nando's fast food, or is it... Like, I don't know, fast fast restaurant food. Bro, McDonald's can be left out uh, over 15 years and... <laughs> Goodness me. Sorry, Ed. Scare <laughs> only meant for streamer man. <laughs> the scare's only meant for me. Thanks, you're so kind. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to get this. You guys keep distracting me. I'm, I'm really trying to get this done today. <laughs> we have 106 of these to do. Prefer Wendy's fries better than uh, others, especially with their sea salt. Um, I think Wendy's fries came salted, and they add, like they gave us extra salt on the side, which I didn't really understand. But I did enjoy them. Mind this. Thank you for the like. Appreciate it. Okay, this one's done. Morning, governor. I'd just like everyone to know I've never had Wendy's. Well, um, I, yeah, I would recommend that if you're looking for, like, just fast food. Uh, and you're in the, the UK and you want to try something that's not like McDonald's. It's not, like, super special, but it's, it's not bad. Five Guys is not a god burger. Terminal. I, I think it, it, it's about average, if I, I'm honest. They just add everything to it. And I, I'm not against that, but it just... It doesn't feel like it's a burger that's been crafted and loved. It's just like, you want this, you want this, you want this. It feels very commercial. I consider Nando's fast food, but I've only had it for lunch. Oh, interesting. Whenever we go, whenever we've had Nando's, me and Ed, I think we've only had it twice. We've only had it once. <laughs> but we, we go to the restaurant, and I don't think I would or ever order Nando's, like, takeaway. I don't know, I just... 
Nando's to me feels like a, a sit in and just chill with friends or family. I don't think I'd take children there. Though, thinking about it. I don't know, it's just the vibe. It's not like a bad vibe, I just. Yeah. Yeah, I'm weird. I'm well aware of that. Wendy's is all over Michigan. Huh. I thought, for some reason, I thought Wendy's was like a UK restaurant chain that expanded to the US. But then I'd never seen really Wendy's in the UK. It was only one or two places. Uh, Barry, man. Thank you so much for the 43 months. Nando's, 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 Nando's. <laughs> Wait, my love, my, my kids love Nando's, Nando's. <laughs> but they also love Greg's sausage roll. <laughs> Don't. Now you, Ed, Edna's like gasping. She's now showing love hearts for, for Greg's sausage roll. I, I don't dislike Greg's sausage rolls. I, I think they're, you know, <laughs> to Barry too. To Barry and the Greg's sausage rolls, love hearts. Why are you packing and drinking water? Julio, um, or Julio, uh, we are doing um, pack uh, diluted pack yeah, diluted packaged fuel. And so we need to package the water to send to the fuel plant. And then we need to recycle that fuel with, uh, what is it? Um, plastic or rubber in order to produce extra plastic or rubber. Barry, thank you for the alert. Appreciate it, man. I'm sorry, Five Guys business model quality and practices are literally fran fantastic. Maybe so, but if the food's not that great, I'm not that bothered. Uh, they use fresh meat and actually demand quality from... Well, that, that's great. Like, I, I have no problem with that. But if I'm going to eat somewhere, I want it to be food that I enjoy. And I didn't enjoy Five Guys, and I found it very expensive for what it is. So, in all fairness, if they weren't treating their team amazingly, if they weren't providing the top, like, quality food, then I would, wouldn't would even consider going there, because it's really expensive, and it's not that nice. For me. Have you seriously never made homemade burgers from ground beef? That's what they serve? Uh, Terminal Velocity, we had that yesterday, and I can tell you our burgers were 10 times better than Five Guys. Really, I'm not impressed with their, their, the taste, the flavor. Maybe I'm picky. Probably picky. I've worked at Michelin star restaurants, but I, I prefer our burgers to, to theirs. Um, I heard Edna is an amazing cook, and every time you suggest takeout, her heart breaks a little more. When do I suggest takeout? Ed Edna would like takeout. She's nodding, but we're we're on a we're on diet. I'm Brazilian, so the pronunciation is not. Uh, not, uh, it's J, not Ruli, Rulio. Oh, wait, so it's not Julio, who? It's Julio. Interesting. Obrigado. Thank you very much for, for letting me know. That's the only word in Brazil, uh, Brazilian, well, Portuguese that I know. Hey, speaking of Brazilian, guys, if you haven't already, Pau de Queixo, probably pronouncing it wrong, is incredible. Oh, and they did... Oh, what is it? Do you know what it's called? It's like um, a potato, like a fried potato thing that they do in Brazil. 
What's it called? It's really good. Exactly this way. Wait, which way? I did it. Oh, no, I did it two ways. I'm confused again. Okay, man, whatever you say, we'll disagree to disagree. Darn it! An ad! <laughs> Why does YouTube pick the worst times? It, it, it's just, you know, it knows. <laughs> Terminal. No, I, I can appreciate that. I don't have anything against other people's uh, opinions. I'm just... Maybe I'm spoiled. Edna does cook amazingly well. I'm, I just wasn't bothered by it. But if you like, go with whatever you want. Moving from burgers to chicken, raising canes where it's at. Never heard of it. Treks are bad. The last way. Julia, Julia. Right. Okay. Ah, oh, keep. Ah, keep mispressing. Uh, in a world of McDonald's and burgers, Five Guys is good, but compared to actual homemade burgers, uh, with the same burger, uh, ingredients, trash. Yeah, I mean, it, it's just everyone like it, it's your personal experience as well. Um, and I think that you can, even the best companies, you can go to one company and have a totally different experience from, uh, like another franchise and is looking at me. Oh, she's, she's in agreement. I think. You prefer chips from anywhere other than here. Why? I love homemade chips. <laughs> Wait, this is the wrong spot. My parents do good, good roasties as well. Yeah, it's true. Ugh. There. Okay, we can nudge it into place. Uh, Five Guys is mediocre, but I was referring to the, st uh, the style of the burger as homemade as opposed to highly processed. Yeah, okay, I can appreciate that. Greetings, Shimo! How are you doing? Welcome. <laughs> I presume that is an emote. <laughs> I can't see it though. <laughs> In the, uh, the multi-stream chat. Um, are you using the blueprint for those packages? Yes, I am indeed. You folks currently got Satisfactory Games going or waiting till the 1.0 release? Well, I, I know quite a few of our community just watch um, while they're waiting for 1.0 because they're not too... They don't want to spoil it for themselves, um, but they enjoy watching it. But then I also know people who run projects in our stream alongside me doing this. It's whatever's for you, personally. Keep constant hydrated. Thank you very much. How um, how are you doing the nudge? So when you have a blueprint or most single buildables, you can press H when it's um, on the ground. Like for example, here you press H. And then you can use the left and right up and down keys to change position. You can hold control and then the left, right, up and down keys to change the increments by half a meter. 
Rayman, how you doing? Welcome in. I hope you're well. And skill gym. Hey, Taylor Clips. I just got satisfactory uh, um, and item on conveyor belts. Or all few. Hey, Taylor Clips. I just got satisfactory and item conveyor belts are all. What do you mean by fusey? Or fussy? Fussy? Is it. What? What's the issue with them? Welcome, by the way. Glad to have you here. Welcome to the community. And there's also a save your game, which we will do very quickly. Uh, I'm fine, and you not too bad, thank you. Okay, that just changed my world, thank you. You're welcome, you're welcome. Um... Speaking of recent changes in Satisfactory, is it me or did they move and add some Summer Sloopers and Mess Spheres? I don't know if they've added any more. I know they've added more Drop Pods, Terminal Velocity, um, but I haven't noticed the Satisfactory Mercer or Summer uh, Sloops. I swear I'm finding some of the alien artifacts in abnormal places in my current game. Hmm. Maybe. Um, I don't know. I, I haven't really paid that much attention. I know where a few are. But it's not something that I paid much attention to. Okay, so how many do we have? We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 6. Uh, I need to add another one of these here. 77 and this will be underclocked um oh the blurriness from the taa you can change that can't you you can remove the i think i might have done it uh oh no i've still got it here the anti-aliasing method oh it's not letting me change it is that because it's force through one of these don't forget to adjust it dazza how you doing man welcome in i hope you're well today uh fennel i hope it gives you double view boost welcome back to the water fun i have your twitch show thank you very much i appreciate it uh fennel um every every view does help and also every uh like on the youtube channel helps as well because it means that uh, it's pushing content engagement. Although the the biggest indicator at the moment to YouTube is watch time. So we're, we're trying to work on that. We're trying to really focus on the quality of our content. And so I'm excited to share with you tomorrow our video on Satisfactory Update 9. Um... One sec, because uh, I'm in an ad. No worries. I'm just blooming wonderful. Glad to hear that, man. Glad to hear that. Okay. This needs to be underclocked to... I think it might be like... Uh, 69? 67. Or to produce 40 per minute. Uh, Def Gamer Girl! Welcome! Oh, you know what? You just reminded me. Uh... I meant to look into subtitles and I didn't so I I will uh, I, I've put that in my list of things to do um, Eskimo how are you doing welcome in welcome in I hope you're well 
Right, so we have, did we say 70, 76? We need to add a, oh my goodness me, there are so many here. We can fit maybe another 10, 20 if we're lucky. So I think we need to expand this way. Uh, yeah, skill gym. Uh, it is to do... Oh, we need sulfur. It's to do with the uh, temporal alia... Is that, is that the term? Temporal aliasing? Setting that you have? So by changing that, you may find that it's not so blurry on your belts. I think I missed it. Why does it need to get packaged? Because we haven't unlocked uh, blenders. What's the end goal with this plastic production? The end goal is to send it to the main factory so that we have a constant supply of plastic and rubber. Uh, more... Oh, I need to go and get some lemon noblesque. So that we can produce produce uh, the space elevator parts. No blender, no hover pack. I know, I know. I'm, I've failed again and again and again. This is struggling. Guys, I am struggling here. A little technical hiccup. Oh my goodness me! Shows. Focus on the road and try not to crash this time. <laughs> I'm trying to fix something. Okay, there we go. Uh, thank you very much for the 500 bits. I also second captioning. Yeah, I, I think it would be good to have. But uh, I totally forgot to look into it. Yeah, I said it would. I have live caption on, so don't worry about it. Oh, I thought I had to add that. Personally. Hmm. Right, we're going to grab the sulfur here. And then the copper, uh, the co mm. coal. Chrome has the option to turn live caption on. Oh, fantastic. This is the, the, the blurriness, you can see. Ugh. We need to do an ammo factory as well. It's in settings and accessibility. There you see the live capture. Oh, fantastic. I had no idea. Well, in that case, I don't need to do it. I, I, I'd like to do a bit of research into it anyway to make it more... I think it's important to make the stream more accessible. I don't want to really just rest on my laurels, so... Can we get a blueprint? That's awesome. Wait. What is that railway arch there? Fenlar, are you talking about the... That? 
<clears throat> I'd love to see a build guide for an ammo factory. I think we've done... Oh, I don't know if we have. I thought we had, but I don't think we have, actually. But better to, uh, to you to have it on your stream in case someone is watching from TV. Oh, that makes absolute sense. Thank you, thank you, uh, Gamer Girl. Appreciate it. Uh, that is a good suggestion. 30 nuclear pasta away from completing phase four in my first world. Awesome, man. We're still nowhere near that in our like 10th world. <laughs> the build guide I really need is better tips for logistic layers. That's an interesting one. Um, guys, if you do have ideas for guides. How many hours are you on this on this map? 450 odd. More or less. I really like how my wife is just sat there working away. She's normally in the other room. I can just see her there chilling, mixing in the coffee. Oh, I love you, amor. Te amo. Tu estas muy bonita. It's calor in it, no? No, it's not too hot. The heating's not even on. This, this is, this is naturally this hot because I am hot. <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Crash! There are no trains on this. Who did that? I can't see. No, I missed it. Who did that? You can't hide. Come forwards. Was was that Ben? Ben, did, I I I knew it. This turtle need a cold shot nah. I I'm just accustomed to it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, stare into the machine. <laughs> Target, thank you. I, I was about to go. <laughs> but you, you got me halfway through. <laughs> oh. Lies, I would never do that. Someone is telling a lot of porkies today. <laughs> I went out to get this to take out a little bit. Oh. How about you? Can you go? No. Okay. Oh, we've got 30 more to do. do maybe we just take it up. Maybe tra we take it up. All right? One, two, three. Five, six, wait, four, seven, seventy-seven. Yeah, we'll take it up. Let me just fly. Struggling here. We could do it. Oh, we could do it on top of this section, actually. But I quite like seeing the that on the outside. Okay, so let's do it on top of here or on the top here that would work okay let's do that so edna's got her desk in the same room not quite um so for today um and yesterday i had my brother around to help me do some some content related stuff and so I cleared out my other desk so that he could join me. And so Edna's uh, come in here because it's slightly warmer, understandably so, um, because it's 
blowing cold outside. For today, she is allowed. She's always allowed. It's just that normally it's it's relatively warm in the house. I want to say she's gonna say no. <laughs> it's not. It's never warm. <laughs> <laughs> just staring at me. <laughs> it's warm here. No, never. <laughs> the point is that it's lovely having her around. What if you move the pipes? Wait, if you move the pipes out, invert that angle. You really need to hover back. I know, I, I absolutely do. It's a, a real necessity having the hover pack. But we work with we've got what we've got, not what we want for now. Why are the two machines without a pipe connected? Pure slack? Where are they? I mean, we haven't connected all of the machines yet. These two, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll sort that out. I'll sort that out. Just below me. I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Wouldn't be a total build if everything was hooked up correctly first. Thank you. Bernie Picks, I feel like I'm slowly getting better at designing stuff in game. Awesome, but I really struggle with supports and foundations of builds. Do you have any advice? Uh, I think it really um, comes down to experimenting to find what works for yourself. But if you, you do really struggle, take a look at industrial supports for things like oil rigs or massive excavators. Um, you know, like the, the ones that are like the size of a small town and see how they've designed those supports as a reference point for you to work with. Body just not used to the muddy UK water uh, weather can be can absolutely support her on that. <laughs> the weather's lovely at the moment. It's a beautiful winter day. It's just a little bit cool, even for my liking. Does splitting the pipe around the splitter make a difference to flow? The splitting the pipe. Uh, what do you mean target number? So are the lower tiers of pipes for flow balance. Um, pretty much. But actually, I think it was mentioned that having all different, like flipping between the two types, is actually worse off because of a, a bug. We'll give it a try. If we need to upgrade them, we need to upgrade them. I'm not too bothered about that. <laughs> F 
my goodness me. Hot shoe. <laughs> a two. I thought that was hot shoe then. I was like, hot shoe what? <laughs> Why? Valencia, thank you very much for the 500 bits. Really do appreciate it. <clears throat> uh, Agiras, um, how's it going? Hello, it's been a while since I last joined the stream. How you doing, man? Welcome back. I hope you're well. Thank you so much for joining us. It wouldn't be a total build if it wasn't all great. Well, it's not all great. We've got blue that you guys just, <sighs> just never going to win. You place the junction, then rebuild the pipe. Oh, yeah. So that's a pipe bug. <clears throat> Sometimes it doesn't work very well if you um, if the pipes are cutting into the splitter or the splitter's cutting into the pipes and then you have the old pipe still there and so I, I like to remove it just to be on the safe side. It's really a win-win. What is Mega? If it's too cold, I'm willing to trade in <laughs> Canada. Um, you're okay, Skeletor. I'll, I'll, I'll stick with what we got. <laughs> I'm just getting used to it, you know. <laughs> we want... You want... You'll never get. <laughs> Thank you for the lurk, John. <laughs> you never... Okay. <laughs> Mega, how you doing, by the way? Welcome in. <clears throat> I never get to win with chat. That's what I meant. Joe! Good evening. Watching while cleaning the bathroom tonight. So two of us dealing with plumbing. Oh, lovely. I uh, I, I prefer plumbing in game to, to real life plumbing. Though. <laughs> Hopefully it's going well for you. But welcome in, Joe. Welcome. Sense Tato to Siberia. Why would you? Why? <laughs> Too cold. Flashbangs or pink? Tempting. <laughs> Making me jump. Oh, I actually still placed it in the right spot, so uh, I'm sorry. You were outdone. <laughs> Be in the backyard. Thank you so much for the raid. Greatly appreciate it. Um, how's it going? How is your stream? Let me just... There we go. What were you doing? Some Tectonica! How are you finding it? How are you finding the update? Flashbangs are the most OP weapon in the game. For the Raiders. <laughs> Why are you flashbanging the raiders, the poor people? They've just joined! <laughs> uh, it shows, thank you very much. Uh, anger management, uh, we've uh, brought coffee in small- Ooh, delicious. We, we do love coffee here. Uh, stream was fun, was just starting to get into some base building. Have you seen the new um, base building update pieces that they, like, mentioned? Was coming out this week, I think, right? The twelve was it the twelfth last week? With the new calcite. Quiet Brit, how you doing? Welcome in. I hope you're well today. What up, Total? Uh, Tom, sorry. Have a good stream. Yeah, it's going well, thank you. How are you doing? I was actually um, considering. Oh, we've got a, we've got a, a save. Uh, I was actually considering doing some more tectonic um, in a future video, but I think we'll try and do like a, a big build and condense it into one video rather than do a let's play series. If we do, my compression fitting on my sink broke last night. <laughs> let's start the hyper train. 
What? <laughs> Man, thank you very much. Goodness me. They came out last week and added some boxes with Victor with some uh, building pieces yesterday. Yes! That's what I was uh, um, thinking about. I do want to go back and check it out. I have enjoyed the base building um, so far with Tectonica. I think they've done a very good job with it. Ooh. But it's just finding the time. Oh my goodness me, I just tried to I heard build. that you be careful with the train crash and the deadly peak. <laughs> Malaysia, thank you. <laughs> uh, Bryce, um, how you doing by the way? I hope you're well. Uh, Target, unfortunately you can't... Okay, mine has got me there, thank you. <clears throat> I found the bigger blueprints mod is a lifesaver for making large scale roads and rails. I, I could imagine it is, but I, I just, I can't, I don't want to add more, um, like mods than the, the, the couple that I'm uncomfortable with in case it breaks it further down the line. Yeah, I spent last weekend checking out all the new stuff, then started a new save for stream to build with. Sweet, man. Tectonic is one of those games that I'm very much keeping a, an eagle eye on. I do enjoy it. I, I struggle a little bit with the the style, like the, the way it comes in, in terms of your, your building, because it's, when it comes to automation, it, it suits more like Factorio. It's more like a 3D Factorio. I don't know if I'm explaining this right. It's more like a 3D Factorio than Satisfactory is a 3D Factorio. And I I quite often struggle to get my head around that. The law that they added has made uh, everything really interesting. I've, yeah, I've, I've got a little bit further with the, the lore of the game. Um, I was very lucky to work with them for the, the release of the base building. <clears throat> for a, a couple of videos and they asked me to specifically keep them out because uh it's quite a fun fun story and i, I wouldn't want to give it away for uh, uh, to my community in a, a one-off video little bits uh total have you checked the upcoming shapes too it looks like neat factory work game uh i have That's all I can say about it. But there's more coming soon. Um, Mr. Melt Gaming, have you had issues with your dedicated service crashing constantly in heavily built areas? Um, I we we did once or twice when I was using them regularly myself, but it wasn't a like a regular thing it was just if there was a, a huge amount of loading in one spot but obviously man he's sniffing in my ears <laughs> I don't think that train's moved <laughs> that was me expecting it to go off. Good job. No good job there. No good job. Why? There is no train there. Oh, there is. Oh, no. Yeah, it was the one from before. I hope the sniffing didn't distract you so too much. It did. Um, oh my goodness me. Try to warn you. <laughs> Shades, thank you. What is the issue here? What 
What's the issue here? This is a bug. Th this is... My only thought is that this signal has... Sorry, I'm, I'm going on a... Going off on a, a bit of a tangent here. But that's still white that it's on. Uh, all the no, yeah. So all the blocks are fine. Like it's going into this section here. This this is registering that this is crossing this one's path. Check the trains have so yeah this one does definitely and then there's this one and i haven't touched this one <clears throat> yeah so th i think this is i've had this happen a couple of times donations to charity for each train wreck <laughs> if that were the case i'd be a very poor person um See the doors of the train with the lights are so cool. I'm obsessed with those. I should add the game client crashes, the server remains up. But yeah, we've had some spaces but uh, that just crash if you look at them. Yeah, I think it's just because they're an experimental. Um, what would be more recommended site, uh, be the more recommended site for blueprints? Currently torturing myself building 48 refineries in a curved layout. Check out Satisfactory Calculator. Um, they have a um, selection of blueprints on there. Um, hey, Total, I see you playing with trains again. Always, always have problems with trains. Reina has... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I see what you've done there. Uh, you are missing signals going into that uh, intersection from where you came from. Uh, no. All, uh, yeah, all of them are... This, this is a bug, I'm pretty certain. Another train down the blue line. The blue line? Nope. The problem is this junction because you, you can see we've got green signals here. And it's... This is a pathing signal. I'm going to check if the other junction is a pathing signal. If so, I think I, know, I might know the issue. I do have te a tectonical question though. The setup for the blast drills. Um, do you have a uh, that as a, a YouTube video as well? Yes, there is a layout for blast drills on a YouTube video. Um, you need to set split it into our. Uh, is it one um, one to four? I, I cover it in the video for for the early version. You can obviously tear up and then um, add more to it. Where is it? Yeah, it's this one. I bet it is. We've had problems with them pausing here. Yeah. Parthing signal again. I think. Why is there a gap in the yellow section after the junction? We'll, we'll go back and have a look at that. You see here... No. Doesn't show the exact cutoff point. And this is going over. I don't know if this is just a visual bug. But we've had trains stop here just randomly. Uh, those junctions work if you use blocks. They will do, but we, we're using paths in order to allow them to keep running <coughs> smoothly so that if one train's coming through and they're both going through at the same time, but um, not necessarily intersecting, then you can still use them. They, they can both travel at the same same time. This gap here, Ben. I think it's if two trains enter or arrive at the pathing signal at the exact same point on a junction, the computer can't calculate. And this is just me guessing. Um, but I'm guessing that it, it just can't calculate which one needs to go first. And so it halts them. 
Path in, block out in, uh, in theory. Yeah, exactly. And I can fix this. Like, this will start running now, and that one won't work. Yeah, oh no, I need to do them all. And so if we, we block all of these, this is going to work fine. Okay. Well, I definitely calculated them. But then if we do it like this, you'll see this is working fine again. That one's calculated to go through first. Now it'll be this one. Yeah. Whereas before it stayed red. Man, I hate trains. Yeah, I, I think this is just a, a, a signal bug. But that's why, well, in part why we crashed. We probably wouldn't have because the train wouldn't have been there otherwise, but can't live off what ifs. Okay, thanks. Got to run to get the kiddo from school, but I'll be back after a bit. Uh, Boomer's Backyard, thank you so much for the raid. Really do pray, um, appreciate it. Guys, do check out, uh, check them out. Can we get another shout out for them, please? Um, greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Aaron. Aaron, thank you so much. Really do appreciate the the coffee or, um, order purchase. Um, for those of you who don't know, we do sell our own coffee uh, here in the UK. We run simplysnugcoffee.co.uk um, and uh, I received that order this morning. So thank you. Thank you very much. I'll be sending that off first thing tomorrow for you. Um, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. It's my favorite coffee at the moment. The homemaker. <clears throat> but I hope you're well, man. Welcome in today. We're battling trains. <laughs> I think that's hard to trace for CSS. Yeah. Balls, 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 balls. Same. That's good. Yeah. Uh, that's a book, even though I don't use trains. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're, you're crashing because texting and driving. No, I'm reading and driving. <clears throat> Had the firework emoji ready, you're just waiting. That poor monorail never gets used anymore. Whoa! Yeah, we, we don't need to go back and forth to collect them, uh, heavy modular frames. We're kind of past that at the moment. Uh, doesn't mean that it's not being used. We're using it as a siding. <laughs> <coughs> but that's that's all for the, the time being. Just a little flashing reminder that there are more countries than the UK who deserve your coffee. <laughs> Bed, I am sorry. I would love, I absolutely would, I've said this many times, would love to have coffee being exported uh, around the globe. But it's, it's not viable financially until we can at least get it profitable in the UK. And then we can speak to some legal advisors as to how to make that work. Damn. I, Edna, I need to stop, like, like you can't send a kiss my way in stream because then I kiss you and people look at me kissing. It's just, it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate. It's not professional behavior. <laughs> just finished the work. Awesome, man. Hope you get to relax for the rest of your evening. Uh, we need, wait, oh. Concrete. Why don't you just set your destination and let the trains run automatically, then you don't crash? Because then I run the risk of dropping off resources into... Like... Why? No! Stripes! Stop the line! Kissing face. <laughs> You've broken it! 
It's too bright! I can't! I can't turn it off! Um, I might need to just take it out. Oh no. Wait, let me see if I can... I'm gonna close... Wait. <laughs> it's not working. We've ran into an arrow with your alert. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> I don't know what to do. Um, can I reset it? Oh. <laughs> Did this fix it? <laughs> Shows, thank you for fixing it. <laughs> oh. Oh dear, goodness me. That was that was too bright <laughs> for too long. I can't see anything now. Oh. <clears throat> can't wait to get the coffee. Hopefully it will be... Uh, it takes three to four... Can I turn it on again? <laughs> you can, but it's not sticking on. Only Shobes has ever done that. That, it, that is a VIP of the day. <laughs> Just put the sunglasses. I might need to in the future. Just <laughs> to make sure it works. For a second, then I thought it had, like, not stopped turning off. Oh dear, we're okay. We're okay. We're fine. It's all good. We can relax. We can breathe. <sighs> ben, thank you very much for the sticker as well. Relationships in the office is very uh, is. Seen very difficult for HR departments. Yeah, <laughs> it's the shame I'm, I, I'm HR. <laughs> yeah, Aaron, hopefully your copy will arrive because we're sending it tomorrow. Should arrive by Monday because uh, it's three to four working days. Don't speak. Really Kissing face. <laughs> Thank you very much, Shows. Oh. He broke it. He ought to fix it. <laughs> uh, Dad Gaming, how are you doing? I can tell you the coffee is really good. Man, thank you. I appreciate that. I, I, I have put a lot of work into sourcing the best coffee that I can find. And I truly stand behind the products. Um, it, it took us trying 20 odd different coffees to, to come up with the ones that we wanted for the first batch. And now we're, we're able to extend it with a couple more, all of which that I love. Um, is this what they call a blind playthrough? <laughs> oh. As long as it's not monkey poo. It, isn't it cat poo coffee? <laughs> but yeah, it's not that. <laughs> I can probably... No! <laughs> Why why is Brian singing? <laughs> Goodness me. So if I buy the coffee, can I make you a donation that may or may not cover international ship? No, because unfortunately you won't receive the coffee. Um, if, like, if we were to send coffee uh, internationally, we could have some really big legal issues. Uh, as lull, much as I lull. would love to. As <laughs> Oh wait, no, that's Ben! <laughs> Thank you. He stands behind the product. The table in front has the product. Is this still <laughs> true when he is in front of the table? It is. There, there is my, my, my product, my coffee everywhere in this house. Along the kitchen are coffees. I right? said, so it's true. We have uh, our coffee all around the, co the house, everywhere. I've got the coffee here in front of me. I have it. Oh, I don't have it behind me. I have it to the side of me. <laughs> I have it downstairs. I have it under me. I have it inside of me. 
Let me sing you the song of I'm my people. In the kitchen. Never know. Why? Now I now I now Brian sounds like he's doing something he shouldn't be doing there. Uh, at least you can go on a blind date with Edna tonight. <laughs> I've had the cat coffee and it was fine. Yeah, I, I've heard of people who have had the cat coffee and they're like, it's all right. But it's nothing special, and yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, there's coffee where a monkey eats the beans and poos it out, then gets it packaged and sold for a silly. Pr That's certainly the. I, I've not heard about the monkey poo coffee. I've certainly heard of the cat poo coffee. It wouldn't surprise me if someone's doing that and try to sell it as the cat one. <laughs> oh, your house must smell incredible. It, the, the house smells all right, <laughs> but it's normally, it's the, it's uh, where we have the, the office at my, my parents' house. When I'm grinding coffee, it smells incredible. It is delightful. It's amazing. It's better to try to <clears throat> the ore or the ink. What do you prefer, buddy? It depends what recipe you're using. Uh, do you tremble? I tend to send the smallest amount of resources by a train. So if we're doing uh, ore, it's a one-to-one -one ratio for the basic recipes, in which case it, it doesn't matter. You can do the smelting there or you can do it at another spot. If you're using the wet and like the pure recipes, then you're producing more. So I would rather send um, the ore to the factory and then produce it at the factory. If you're doing Caterium ingots and it's a three to one ra ratio, I'd rather do that at the ore spot because then we're only sending one third of the resources back to the base. I did too much com counter strike or command and conquer. <laughs> uh, Nefinor, thank you very much. <laughs> I started from Sean and Chris's chat and some conas. Uh, one of the few people who can say ha have their product inside them without it being weird. <laughs> that is very true. Jake Tremble, thank you so much for the follow, and uh, I'm glad I could help you with that. Send Katerium ingots instead of Katerium wire then? Yes, yeah. I love the smell of coffee even before I was a coffee drinker. It's, it's one of those, like, incredibly... I don't know, like... It, it's just such a strong smell oh it's like fresh bread to me i love it not, not balls <laughs> the coffee <laughs> um i'm the opposite i was forced to serve coffee to adults against my will for a whole day when i was a kid i now hate the smell really i love it love it can't get enough of coffee. I had to go on Twitch to join in with the flash bounds. Aaron! <laughs> Not work on coffee! <laughs> that could have been so bad! <laughs> Thank you very much. Really do appreciate the five hundred bits. I am working on getting it sorted for YouTube, but that's going to take a bit longer. <laughs> uh, but thank you very much, man. Really do appreciate the five hundred bits. Okay. Oh, wiki. Oh, when's your meeting in an hour okay an hour and a half exactly do you want me to to wake you up or are you okay. Okay. enjoy your nap my love i drink coffee from the time i wake up to the time i go to back to, to sleep it, that's me also <laughs> but little grill how you doing welcome in Happy to catch on the stream. Glad to have you here, man. Uh, guys, if you, uh, if you are... Exclamation mark. If you are exclamation mark and in YouTube chat, please do hit the thumbs up if you are enjoying the stream. Uh, shows, thank you very much. They are on me, Vila. I hope you feel a bit better. Yeah, no.
I love my coffee in my new satisfactory mug. Nice. Which one have you got? Don't tell me we need copper wire. Flashbang out. <laughs> Um, oh, we do. We have wire. Good. Been a, uh, away a while. How's the process of progress going? Slowly, but we are getting there. The large one? Nice. Orange and blue. Sweet. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's a good size mug, to say the least. Now you just need some satisfactory coffee to go inside there. <laughs> Thing is, I don't really want to call my uh, coffee satisfactory <laughs> coffee. They're like, oh, it's just it's just satisfactory. It's uh, you know. I, I don't I don't think that looks good on the uh, the company if I just say it's satisfactory co coffee. Okay. Oh my god. Now we need plastic. There's just no end. I'm not doing very well. Okay, we can, we've got... We're gonna need more rubber. We're gonna need more steel beams. Which we haven't on the, uh, the train. Rubber and plastic. Plastic, we're good. Rubber, we're not. I thought we... Now I remember, we, we didn't have enough. I ended up putting a few satisfactory stickers on my insulated coffee cup. Um, twice the volume as the large fix- Oh wow, that's a big one, Asmo. If I had just a few more- Oh boy, what are you trying to get at? <laughs> what are you trying to get at? Who are you trying to fool? Oh, balls. Satisfactory coffee, lightly roasted with walnuts for a, a bitter, nutty flavor. Ooh. <laughs> we actually have the uh, the coffee, Aaron, that you've uh, you've got. It's this. Oh, it's a lovely blend. It's like toffee and pecan. It's kind of the the flavors that I I, I get from it when I'm having it. Just so delightful. Reminds me very much of like bonfire night. I really hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Satisfactory coffee stains? No? <laughs> Build mode. There we go. Bonfire night, you say? Yeah. Oh, Forks the second. How you doing? Um, I feel bad now. Sorry, I, 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 I didn't want to give you any flashbacks. <laughs> How you doing, man? Welcome in. But uh, yes, yes. Bonfire. <laughs> Just made coffee and added a large pour of Baileys to it. Yum. Ooh. I don't really like Baileys on its own. But, uh, and I probably wouldn't have it with coffee, but I do love it with like a, and like, if you make the, the Baileys more of a, like a, like, um, like a cream, like a whipped cream with Baileys, and then added that to 
hot chocolates. It's delightful. I'll get so tempted to leave fly mode on. I mean, I am tempted. That That's why I... I I play with you like in stream because I know that I I probably would just go for it and be like yeah it's gonna save me so much time and effort. Ooh, that is horrid. Why walnuts? Why not barrel nuts? It's barrel delicious. <laughs> Okay, I need mark one. I'm doing good. The factory is looking nice. Thank you. It's getting there. It's taking a lot of... T oh, no. I hadn't even considered that. I need to sort out the logistics. Uh, the funny thing is... We didn't want them there. We wanted them in the center. Oh well, 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 we'll continue doing it this way. I'm, I'm not wasting time or any extra time. If I can help it. Hot chocolate. I do enjoy it. So I, I rarely have hot chocolate, but I do really enjoy it when I do. It's just... I can't be having so, so many calories at the moment. So much sugar. Oh, I've been so good. Okay. Rubber. It's a satisfactory pun, not a very good one, though. <laughs> I realized after I said it, because I I thought you went, it, it, I thought you you'd said barrel as in like barrel, like brilliant. <laughs> and then I realized that it was probably very. <laughs> Growler, how are you doing? Welcome in. Any flashbangs today? We we've had a few. Um, we, we actually had Shobes recently break the flashbang. Uh, it, it wouldn't switch off. <laughs> because walnuts are bitter like most that do not get their coffee in the mornings. <clears throat> back to uh, zero, back to the fast food discussion. My wife just banned me from eating McDonald's fries. Stupid things just tried to kill me. By getting stuck in my th throat. Oh, rip man! Zero, are you okay? I hope you're alright, man. Stabby, how you doing? Welcome in. I hope you're well today. <coughs> Did someone call me? Try and choke on my own coffee. Choke! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, at least you haven't broken it this time. I'm gonna, like, careful, you're gonna make Edna ban me from having proper coffee. <laughs> uh, Uncle Gamer, how you doing? Hello, Total, uh, you delightful man. Have you ever tried abue ab Abuelitos? Um, Abuelitos, is it Abuelitos? Not abuela. Um, uh, abuelita, Ab abuelita. Mexican hot chocolate. It'll change your life. Yes, hot chocolate with cinnamon. It's delicious. Um, I actually went to Dairy Queen 
in Mexico and they did uh, Uta Willy. No, it's fine, it's fine. Um, well, I went to Dairy Queen. I, ha I, ha I love Dairy Queen. I are you stopped for me. Why did you stop for me? None of the none of none of the uh, signals are working, but yeah, I, I went to Dairy Queen and they did a special with Abuelita, and I th thought it was just Mexican chocolate, and I had it as a Dairy Queen. And I was like, wow, this is amazing, but it's not chocolate; it's something else. And then I realised it was cinnamon as well. It's del it, it really is great. I am now throat's tore up now. Sarah, I hope you're all right. Um, I, I hope you feel better soon. Try and have something like honey. Like a hot lemon and honey, because the, the honey will help soothe your throat. FRS Matty! Thank you so much for the prime, Savan. Really do appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Some broke the flashbang. Why do I miss all the good things? Yeah, Eddie, it, it, it stayed on. <laughs> Thankfully, it's back to normal. Just a quick question. How to install mods on Satisfactory? You need to go to the Satisfactory Mod Manager. I don't know what the website is. Um, is it, is it Satisfactory Mod Manager? I think, I think it must be. Um, download their Mod Manager and then from there you can just install it via clicks. So it's really easy. Are flashbangs bits only or donations to Bits only. Um, though we're going to try and change that so that, well, try and add or implement a way for, um, people to be able to do that on YouTube should they wish to. Lots of different... Oh, is it lots of different? I thought it was just cinnamon and hot chocolate. But really nice. Uh, we need to go to our turbo plant. But yeah, Abuelitas is good. Oh, now I'm missing that. But I'm... That's what we should have got. Edna's parents want to send a little package over to us. I should have asked for some of that. I see you, Tom. I see you. When I have some pocket money to spend, you conveniently do not have the best cheer. Um, not have the best cheer as bits only. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. No worries, Aaron. No worries. If you have any issues, just let me know and I'll, I'll see if I can help you further. But you should be able to find it by searching Satisfactory Mod Manager. Cinnamon and cocoa. Um, cocoa as in coconut or like cocoa. cocoa. Uh, mega. don't need flashbangs in the channel. We might remove them because uh, you guys have been using them a lot, <laughs> which is uh, exactly what they, they're for, but <laughs> I need a break. We, we might have to do flash only on a Friday. Irony being that we only stream on a Wednesday, mon Monday, Wednesday, and a Saturday. <laughs> <Awful>. <laughs> The candy cannot sp Oh, okay. C uh, <coughs> candy? Cocoa, then. Chocolate. Chocolate. Powder. Branch out into smoke grenades. Could you imagine? Dry ice and... <laughs> a trigger for that. Air horn for variety? No chance. Hot cocoa. Ah. Oh. It's making me want it. Uh, I s oh, I hate myself. Turned it back to blummin. Plastic. Needed it to be rubber. That's because someone deleted my in inventory. I bet my bottom dollar. We could do five times as many sniffers. 
kind of fell asleep at my PC, so I will be going off. Uh, mine, let's have a good night, man. Thank you so much for joining us and appreciate the, the help. If you remove flashbangs, Tom, we'll be forced to send you flashbangs through the fan mail letterbox. <laughs> it's me that's supposed to be force, like, sending, like, force sending you, like, coffee through the mailbox. Not, not the other way around with flashbangs. <laughs> Who's faster? I've got it. I've got it. I'm quick. Super quick. <laughs> who who did that? Shows, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Um Glitter bombs, perhaps? Could you imagine? I, I'd have to put, like, if we did smoke bombs, <laughs> really high up, because I don't want to choke to death on smoke <laughs> and on dry, dry ice. <laughs> um, Gallifreyan, welcome in. Uh, a, a Time Lord fanatic, I believe. Um, one word from a hobby satisfactory player. Wow, thank you so much. I, I hope uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed our, like our builds. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. We've had a lot of time playing around and uh, building this up. It's no way near where we want it. But this is uh, we have a train system that takes our turbo fuel, which is in this factory here. All the way to our turbo plant over there um oh i've seen a streamer who has a nerf gun hooked up to hit a name to them oh wow that's that's quite clever <laughs> it's a work of art pretty impressive it's pretty good long-term satisfactory everything is created thank you Ooh, we did that almost straight away. We're making a lot of progress with that rubber. Always love it when people get the connection. Got even a TARDIS of it. Oh, nice! What do you think of the new series? I I have to admit, I, I used to, to, like, watch ever since... Oh, what's his name? Before David Tennant. When they, they brought back Doctor Who again, um, I I got Chris... Uh, Chris Eccleston? Is that his name? So when I started getting into Doctor Who, before that I was terrified. I watched it as a kid and I'd, I'd have nightmares. But I started getting back into it then, but I, I stopped watching it after Peter Capaldi. I, I struggle with people's names. Um... I watched a couple of episodes of the, the new series, but then went traveling, and so I didn't get the opportunity really to watch it. Chris Eccleston, okay. I, I was close. Chris Hemsworth, not quite, not quite. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll split that up. But I uh, I watched the Christmas special, and I thought it was pretty good. And and obviously the the, the two or three previous with David Tennant, for the, the new series. And I, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Because we don't have BBC iPlayer, so I can only see it whenever we uh, go to my parents. I still don't know a little bit Disney with music. Yeah, it, it's definitely a new take on it, and I, if I'm, like, I, I like the energy that the, the new guy is bringing to the role. I think it's it's quite fresh compared to what it, it, it usually is, but the new assistant, I wasn't too keen. Um, I don't know what it is, but I, I'll, I'll give her, like, the opportunity and, and see how she compares but I wasn't too keen on um oh, what's her name 
are Catherine Tate. I, I wasn't too keen on her as a, an assistant either. I love the flash bands. The flash bands. <laughs> we, we should have another one. Like you, you do 1,000 bits and just out of nowhere, a mariachi band comes. <laughs> Uh, BBC is location bound. Can't watch it in Holland. Oh no! No, Catherine was a little bit too much herself. Yeah, I think so. But I, I think she did. She's she she's a good actress. I just I wasn't that fond of her um, as as the character. Um, how about a seat inject? It just injects me uh, randomly. Could you imagine? We, we could even do just a little video. <laughs> just a clip, and as soon as you trigger it, we, we, it goes to an animation of me being flung. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. I love the Christmas special with Peter Capaldi, where also the first Doctor, sorry, my spelling English is not my first language. Do not worry, do not worry. Uh, we have people from all over the world in stream joining us. Um, and I understand you perfectly. Yeah, Peter Capaldi, the first Doctor and, wait, was it just the two of them? I'm not sure if it's the one that I'm thinking of. I swear there were three of them. Need the gaming rig that Colin Furs had created? I don't know it. I don't know it. I'm terrible with pop culture and other people, like names. I'm just, I'm, I'm terrible. Names too, Tommy. Oh, I die. I like. I keep calling you Tommy. <laughs> it's all right. I, I respond to most things. To be fair. <clears throat> happened more with two. Uh, happened more with two or three doctors, but this one um, is with the original Doctor. With a lot of Easter eggs to older episodes and characters. Maybe I missed it. Maybe that was while I was traveling because I didn't see all of Peter, Peter Capaldi's. Um, episodes. Uh, are you thinking of Matt Smith? Maybe? I don't know if I watched all of Matt Smith. I did enjoy Matt Smith, Matt Smith's um, representation of, of the Doctor. I did think he did a good job with it. Why do you not use a hypertube launcher, Eti? Because I do not like hypertubes. I don't know, it just takes it out of the game for me. <clears throat> I have used them, I can set them up, I'm just, I prefer the feel of the trains. Also, there's the chance for a crash, which is always fun. Hypertube launcher is always crashing my game. I knew there were a lot of problems with hypertube launchers and, um, like, dedicated servers. But I didn't know if that's just everyone, like, just normal stream I'm getting hungry super hungry I know exactly why Tom because I watch another streamer and he's called Tony okay so I'm in between Tom and Tony fantastic Matt Smith was nice he changed his looks also during his era yes yeah I love my sci-fi Star Trek, my favorite. I do enjoy Star Trek. I do enjoy Star Trek. I haven't watched it. I, I didn't have an appreciation for Deep Space Nine when it was released. But I think looking back at it now, DS9 was probably one of the most interesting of like Star Trek's series. Series? Um because it was so, what's the word? 
it was challenging a lot of the norms at the, at the time. But I, I mean, I was brought up on the next generation and Star Trek Voyager. So there's always a... I swear if I don't have cable, I'm going to cry. DS9 seasons 3 to 8 are top tier Star Trek. I don't think I was able to appreciate them when I was uh, I was younger, but I, I do now. Yeah, we're on a dedicated... Yeah, dedicated servers can be quite experimental. <laughs> they broke launches with the last update, didn't they? Yes, but they, they redid it, I think. They, they found a solution, I think. Oh, we do have some. Okay, we're good. Nice. Deep Space Nine is different. It's more aggressive with battles and wars. Um, yeah, I, I think you get more of the geo... Is that right? The geopolitical... Um, a setting... of the universe versus other... Um, series. Where did where the did that just go? Wait, where did it? Oh no, I have lost. Oh no, where are you? Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. I love the shapeshifter enemy. Uh, don't know who the, the bad guy is. Yeah, that was an interesting one. And how they, they brought that all together. Oh my god. I'm never going to get this done. <coughs> Technically, launches were always broken. The engine change, fi uh, change fixed how they performed to CSS. And so CSS had to break them again. Yeah. If only they had a movie where they went back in time to save the web. <laughs> that was a, uh, yeah, that was an interesting, I can't even remember that, but I, I remember that. Okay, we should be good after this. Can't even remember that, but I remember that. Um, what? Wait, what? <laughs> now I'm really confused. Y you've you've stumped me. You said it, not me. Did I? <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm to totally confused by myself then. I, I have no idea. I remember the whale. Oh, I I remember the, the film with the saving the whales. But I don't remember the film, if that makes sense. I, I don't know why they were doing that, what the reason was. I just remember them being on Earth and trying to save the whales. I wonder what the actors thought of that episode whether they appreciated it or felt that it was just like an odd thing what I don't get is why a shapeshifter doesn't decide to look like Renamon <laughs> you'd have to ask um, 
ask them that. I'm trying to think of his name. O Odo, right? Odo, why didn't you? It was Star I, I know it was Star Trek. I just don't remember the... Like, what the the plot was of the film. It's saying about a Klingon... Um... It's not a warbird. What do they call them? Bird of prey. Is that right? Oh. I feel like my... Star Trek in a nerd is doing a disservice to Star Trek. <laughs> Star Trek 4 is the one with the whales. The journey home. Well, Spock directed it. <laughs> Wait, did the actor uh, Spock actually direct it? Or... <laughs> I, I don't know. I came up with the story, really? Odo said no to Kira in the end. Strange. I don't remember it, honestly. It's been a while. I just, I know I appreciate Deep Space Nine more now than I did before. I always loved Voyager. I, I felt that was the, the, the series for me that really brought, I was already watching The Next Generation, but it felt old and then Voyager came out and it was like this brand new, clean, beautiful series, state of the art. Plutonium! Thank you so much for the sub for 24 minutes. Uh, 24 minutes. <laughs> for 24 months. Please, no spoiler, Eno. Uh, don't worry, I don't know this, the story well enough. Um, thank you so much, man. That is a two-year sub, so please uh, do give me a name, and I'll make sure to add it to the document after. Uh, Beamer's Backyard. It was where they had to bring back the whales to communicate with the ship that was destroying the Earth. Ah! Oh, dear. I mean, that was pretty good for me. That Small was pretty good. Celebration dance for Plutonium Odd. <laughs> ben, thank you very much. Why did you fart at the end? Who wait? Ben! <laughs> Minus seven out. Of that was pretty good for me. Star Trek Voyager is also 29 years old. <laughs> modern. It was modern for me when I was a kid. Oh, goodness me. Wait, is it really 29? I swear it came out when I was like 12. Do you deep fake your fake your faces on those jazzercise dances? Maybe. <laughs> Wasn't me, it was someone else. I was pirate. Strife A, how you doing? The original was the best. It was really controversial when it came out. They televised the first interracial kiss. I think Star Trek has always been quite um uh, what's the word? Not frontal but challenged like social norms. Ben, thank you very much. You did better in Mexico <laughs> than leaves and just walks out. <clears throat> God, I'm ancient. 1994, oh wait. So I thought I saw the first episode when I was 12. There's no way I saw it when, well, remember seeing it when I was five. So it, it was out bef like before I thought it was. My, my childhood has been robbed. Thanks.
was always pushing the bounds, um, often times for the better. Siffy? Siffy? What does Siffy stand for? You know what I'd quite like to watch at some point? Babylon 5. Why the Mark 1 pipes for each attachment to the packager and not just Mark 2? You can do if you want. Um, we may have to because there was a suggestion that there was a bug that if you weren't using all the same type, that it causes issues. So if we do find that being the case, then we will have to remove it and redo it. Uh, well, not remove it, just upgrade it. Wonder away! The, the last episode would have aired when you were 12, if that counts. Um... Yeah, maybe they started the new series just before. Oh, wait, I was in primary school. I would have been in primary school because I went to my next door neighbor's house and we kind of stopped that when I, he went to secondary school and he was a year above me. So maybe it was... They were running the whole series in advance of the full, like the last episode, last season. Babylon 5 was awesome, seen them all uh, three times. It's about time for another game. Yeah, I, I, I kind of remember the ship. It was quite iconic. But I don't know anything about it. I love this dream Doctor Who satisfactory Star Trek. I, uh, I wait time. We're going to chat about Stargate. Wait, hey, it will happen. I actually haven't watched that much of Stargate. You see, you've made it happen now. Um, yeah, I've watched a fair bit of Stargate, but not a huge amount. I think I was too young. It was a bit too adult for me when I started getting into it. But I did watch pretty much all of Stargate Atlantis, and I thought that was pretty cool. It felt a bit cheap, the, um, like, the effects. But I did enjoy it. So Android lets a device identify itself as a phone, tablet, early versions, had tricorder as an option. Oh, <laughs> really? All of the uh, series other than the original had a seven season run. Wait, what's that for? More slack building. Let's see if Toto can find the missing piece. <laughs> oh, watch the original Battlestar TV uh, series Battlestar Galactica, then watch the new one. I really like the new one. I haven't watched the original. I, well, I've seen bits of the original, but I think it's too old for me. Um, when we were children, there was still a thing called syndication and reruns. I don't know. Battlestar Galactica, the remake is amazing. I think they did really a really good job with the remake. Um kinda kinda wanna I wanted them to expand on it further. But hey, I'm always wanting more of a good thing. Ooh. How am I going to do this? Um, Six hundred, so ten. Oh, we need one. I I've done them all as full pipes, but we actually just don't need a full one. Yeah, I remember now. Kind of want to watch Battlestar Galactica again, the new one. I loved it, and I love... Trisha Hel Hel Helfer. She's a local girl too. Oh, really? There you go. Yeah, no, I think they did very well with that. I was impressed. Color me impressed. Um, BSG was totally amazing, except season three or four. One of them just doesn't exist. Doesn't exist, really? 
Like it's in in your in your mind. <laughs> it's so bad it doesn't exist to me. It's dead to me. to bring these up at the end. Hmm. Too much of a good thing can be bad though. Worse than uh, burnout looking sour. Yeah, that, that is very true. You're very right there. And it does happen quite often, I think, with TV series, which is a shame. Oh, you know what? Something about the idea of bringing up a pipe and then wrapping it across the others that I really like. So let's do it from the far end for this one. Uh, I need to snap hold and okay let me just get on top of here H back oh, we might need to go back further because I might need to bring it up first yeah Best Star Galactica Pegasus is Season 3.5. SGU Stargate U, I guess? Um, really should have gone on longer. It was really... An, I was really annoyed when it was cancelled. <coughs> um, as I haven't seen it, I can't really judge it enough. Can't say, like, my opinion. It was kind of... Um, Sad they didn't expand more on Stargate Universe or whatever this, that spin-off was called. Oh, wait, Stargate Universe is different to Stargate Atlantis? In Doctor Who, the Doctor will be asked if uh, replicators are good. The Doctor answers depends. Star Trek good, Stargate very bad. Love that Easter egg. Don't know if you know replicators in Stargate are the bad guys who replicate themselves. I don't, I don't remember. I don't, I don't, I don't remember, honestly. I don't know if I watched it, but that's kind of funny. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's a food that I've suddenly, I think it's naan bread. I think I've suddenly started really craving proper naan bread. Oh no. <sighs> healthy eating stuff is getting hard. Um, oh. Yeah, I want naan bread. Oh. Okay, and then don't oh, wait. Well, oh yeah, this one. This one short. Okay, so these are gonna all have to go up here. Let me just do it there. And there's no decent takeaways nearby either. Yeah, there used to be one, didn't there, Plutonium? I can't do it. I can't do it to myself. We, we've done 15 days of fantastic, healthy eating, walking. I can't. Was. Yeah, I know. Oh, I was bummed when they ended it. I think I've missed out something on Stargate. Okay. We'll do it from here.
Around the corner. The less said about the spice, the better. I never, never went there. Never went there, but I knew there was one. Driven past it a few times. Universe was on a spaceship built by the ancients and several galaxies and is several galaxies away, headed to the center of the universe. Oh, interesting plot, I guess. Hard to find proper naan bread. The stuff in the store. Yeah, the stuff in the stores ain't great. But, oh. Takeaway naan bread. Mmm. Sweet. Oh. Delicious. I just. Oh, I can't. Yeah, it's definitely. It's definitely naan bread that's. On my mind at the moment. Every now and then. Uh, like once a year. Normally around Mother's Day or Father's Day, I'll take my mum and dad out for a Chinese, uh, a Chinese, uh, Indian meal at a, at a restaurant, and I'll order like ten different mains for everyone to just try, and we just have a really nice time. Gonna have to do it again. Got to do it with the kids, but they can be quite picky. <laughs> Have you saved your game lately? No, but we will do once we've got this in position. Rumor was a knocking shop before it closed. But it was closed for some illegal activities. A knocking shop. What do you mean by a knocking shop? I've not heard that terminology before. Probably for the best. <laughs> I presume it's a bad thing. Okay, right. They're good. Except they haven't got their outputs. You need to be consistent whether you have a tall pipe stacker or not at the start of a package of row. <laughs> right now you're doing both. Blasphemy! Hey, it's whatever gets this done. <laughs> I can fix it all later. House of ill repute, where ladies of the night be selling their waves. Their, their, wa their waves. Their waves! Their wavy hair! Uh, no, yes, okay, understood. Thought it might be that. <laughs> I had no idea that that went on. Universe focus it, uh, focused more on the people in the rather unconventional situation than tech or baddies. It was really exceptional character-driven drama. Oh! Very interesting. Right, we need to save the game. Okay, and now I need to do the logistics. Get this me. Fix it later. Yeah, right. How many satisfactory players have said that and just never do it? I'm actually pretty good. I fixed this outside of um, stream. What were we short on? It's these, right? Do we have any more? Concrete. There we go. 
How many hours in your game? We're at about 554? 500, uh, sorry, 457. A few off. Uh, Master Blaster, thank you so much for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. I also need to connect these up. Which is actually a problem because all the floors are wrong. I, um, I remember scouting coal in the that water crater with the mushrooms. Coal. Is it coal here? I'm trying to think. There must be some nearby. Right, okay. Oh uh, yeah, over there. I've never used it. I've never used that coal. so often that you had to stop saying it I certainly certainly agree it's easy to, to say that and not do it but I am trying to finish the projects quite quickly and so a lot of what I, I'm doing in stream is trying to set it up so that outside of stream I can just do the cleaning up and Making sure it's all prepped and sorted. Because otherwise we'll be here for a, a lot more time. I was about to get up for a, the save break and then I remembered I was watching Total, not Andrew. Yeah, our, our, our breaks aren't that big. Thankfully, yet. I hope, it, I hope it doesn't get that long, to be honest. Ever. Okay, this line is done. Same on the outputs, yep. Outputs, yep. Same there. Inputs are good as well. Sweet. So the top section, other than a connection, the power is done. We love being here. I'm glad you enjoy it. Uh, does anyone know what mod to use? I use Pack Utility for flying when I'm showing everything off, and then I also have um, Skybox U uh, Skybox, yeah, for changing the time of day. There's a few hundred hours between you and Satisfactory. Yeah, exactly, Kurt. Exactly. <laughs> What's a few hundred more? to do these. And I am stuck. No, I'm not. Okay, that's good. This row is good. This row, not so much. Man! Man, Wisp Monkey, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for the support. How are you doing today? Also, um, 
Uh, we, we, um, we, 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 um, I don't know if I've got your name right, but welcome in. How's it going? I hope you're well today. Got another auto save. Uh, Senin is the game name. Okay, welcome. Uh, please do keep it to English though, just in, in stream, because obviously I, I I don't speak another, whichever language that is. But I'll try and remember Senin for you. Spidey Kid, how are you doing? Welcome in. Not speak English. Okay. Unfortunately, in this stream, unless it's Spanish, which I know a bit of, we request that it's all done in English. I'm sorry. Do not worry. Do not worry. It's still welcome here. It's just it makes it very difficult to moderate when people are speaking in lots of different languages. What? No Klingon? I tried Klingon. I don't speak it. <laughs> I get that and the <laughs> incorrect and causes some problems in the end. Klingon High Court. <laughs> I do. Some things just surprise me, you know? What's that? Dutch? No, that's Klingon that I was trying to do. What recipe are you making in this factory? Jay Tremble, we're doing the recycled plastic and rubber, which requires us to in order to get from 2,400 crude oil to 2,000... Si yeah. Wait, have I got my maths wrong? 1,200, 3,600. I'm making seven... Yeah, okay. What From 2,400 crude oil, we're getting 1,000... Uh, 2,600, no, 3,200 plastic and 3,200 rubber. Goodness me, I'm struggling today. Man, thank you so much for the support. Poor Total is mapping oddly. Once in a while, you know. Which was funny when I spoke Klingon to someone in the all Klingon chapter of Star Trek Club in college. He didn't understand me. He was in full makeup and outfit too. Oh wow. You you showed him. <laughs> <clears throat> do I know any Turkish? No, I do not. I only speak a little Spanish. And a little, well, supposedly English. <laughs> Do I like food? Yes. Guys, I'm just looking at the build. <clears throat> right, okay. This is almost all done. Total speaks a little Spanish, about an Edna sized amount. Yeah, just enough to get by. Uh, kebab, kebab, no, kebab. Kebab, I think that is. Um, Spidey. I do enjoy kebabs. Something that I'll have on a... I don't intend to buy kebabs, generally speaking, but I will if it's like a night out. And we've just finished. I hope that's good. It's either kebab or pizza. I think after a night out, like the, the best bit of the, the night out is getting takeaway food afterwards. I really do. 
I'm very food orientated. <laughs> if it's not apparent. <clears throat> like a food? Yeah, Spidey. So kebab is like meat that's layered on top of one another to into a meat. I don't know what they call them. Um, but they slowly spin it and heat it up and then you cut slices off and put it into like bread. No lo sé. Es español. Suena inglés. No, es, es diferente. A good kebab roll is always great and one of the best uh, of the healthier fast foods to get. Really? Oh, uh, wait. Are we little bits? Are we talking about um, like doner kebab or are we talking kebab meat that's like fresh meat on a grill? Turkish fire food? I, I, I don't know. I've not had that. We don't get a lot of Turkish food here, but we do get kebabs. Thank you. Oh, I do. I'm really craving a Donna. I'm really craving kebab meat, Edna. Now. Why did we start? Why have we talked about just takeaway today? Guys, you need to talk about different things other than food. I'm a weak mind. <laughs> can't afford takeaway. My body can't afford it and I can't afford it. <laughs> <clears throat> Done a party kebab. <laughs> Let's go, Edna. <laughs> You've got a meeting. It's probably closed anyway. It probably closes at 10. Am I an idiot American? I don't believe you're an idiot. You may be American, but I don't believe you're an idiot. <coughs> the only kebab I know is shish kebab. So shish kebab is the one with the meat on it, right? And then a doner kebab, right? Okay, I need to, I need to have a look. Let's see. Okay, so doner kebab is this, this, this. See this? Uh, actually, that's not. This is. You can't see it because I'm in the way. We need to sort this out and you, you can see it. It's like, oh, wait, it works out perfectly. Like it's total on a stick. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> so this, 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 this slab of meat is Donna for me. And then shish kebab. Yeah, it's like this, but it tends to be chicken, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm used to seeing shish kebab as... Oh, no, not that. Yeah, like the, like Yeah, like this. Either way, it's really good. Delicious. Eliciosa. Oh. Who likes Star Fox Adventures? I think if I got into it when I was younger, I would love it, but I kind of missed it. Are you planning to make a kebab stream? Oh, I would love to. <laughs> Thank you very much, Abelazia. I appreciate the 500 bits. <clears throat> uh, drop in on stream and it's kebab time. I want a kebab, Mantic. You, me both. But my wallet saying no, and my 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 stomach saying well no, my stomach saying yes, but my fat say screaming yes, and I'm saying no to it. I said we wouldn't. <laughs> or a waffle coffee uh, cookie with maple syrup. Mm, interesting. Sounds a bit much, but I'd try it. 
Bella's is probably open. Bella's? I thought Bella's closes at 10. Wait. Uh, who knows? <laughs> who knows? May, um, I'll think about it. Anyway, Edna's gone silent, so she probably doesn't actually want it. She's just saying. Let's go. the only way we could get kebab like you've got your meeting in half an hour how's that going to work look into the flashing thing it will help you forget food as we talk about it <laughs> i do struggle just thinking about food I think I'm going to have to do a floor on top of this. <laughs> SFA and food topics are the only topics I know. Makes it quite difficult, you know. <laughs> are you speaking from translation? I think you're doing very well. Thank you, I. I appreciate the effort you're putting in. Barbecue. Oh. Oh, like a like an Argentinian barbecue. Ooh. Nice barilla. I don't think they have a delivery. No, they don't, do they? It'll be, it'll be cold by the time we get back. And the problem with, like, Donna is that it's like... When you have cold Donna, it's very fatty, very greasy. I <laughs> ordered the man some kebab. He's worked so hard. I'm trying to lose weight. You're doing me no favors by, like, ordering me food. <clears throat> Wife is making Korean barbecue. Ah, oh, we were talking about that earlier, Strife. I love Korean barbecue. It's just so difficult to avoid. Lamb isn't nice cold. Well, it's more that it's so fatty is the problem, I think. I don't mind cold lamb. Okay. Are there blueprints? I thought your character got smaller for a moment. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Why do you know that you are cursing my... I, I... I don't think I am. <laughs> Ever had Greek? I have. I have. Like Greek gyro? Is it? It's gyro, right? That's good. They close at 10. I thought they would. Okay, right. This is already. We need to bring. Oh, I need to do <coughs> some merging lines, I think. Oh, wait. 
splitting lines. They're not merging lines. Euro? Oh, Euro. What did I say? Gyro. Euro? <laughs> I'd love to go to Greece. Same with Scary Pizza too. Scary is a bit too far out. We, d we don't drive, so... Uh, it, it's either it's here or it ain't. <laughs> that is the lay of the law here. <laughs> I plans to go to Athens later this year. Oh, lovely. Sounds really nice. Okay, cable. Yeah. Is there a way to change the foundation or wall type without moving first? Yes. Um, so if you're changing the foundation, press X and then grab it, whichever one you want, and then replace. If it's a wall, you can do the same as well. Um, so you have two options with the wall. If it's just the material, you can change it with X. Or if it's the actual wall that you want replacing, um, choose the wall and then hold control. What is the, this game like? A war game? What is the purpose? Um, it's not. It's very chilled and relaxing, generally speaking, where the purpose is to build a factory that sends resources. There's no real pressure other than what you set yourself, which is why I like it. Ah, uh, thank you for answering a little bit, so I appreciate that. Yeah, the train crashes is very relaxing. Well, there is that. No me obligues a empezar este juego. Si empiezo, no puedes obligarme a dejarlo. Si tú no quieres, tú no necesitas. No voy a obligarte a hacer algo. Si no quieres, no haces. Um, the spiders are total pamperage as well. <laughs> well, there is that. ¿Qué otros juegos juegas? Um, no tantos ahora. I don't play many games. This is pretty much my full-time job, really. Um, how will we do? If we could do maybe the resources coming through here. They could then, yeah, okay, and then run around. Okay, that will work. Yeah, I don't play that many games at the moment. Um, we're going to be covering playing a lot of Enshrouded next week. We'll probably do that in replacement of Satisfactory to a certain degree as well.
Oh. We don't want to do that. I don't think. Yeah, we do. So these need to be split off into six and then four. Have you ever heard of a mage that cannot spell? No. Where are you going with this? Sounds like the uh, a joke's coming up here. Maybe play some shapes too soon. Maybe when it's released. I think we're a little bit off that yet. Unless you know anything I don't. That is me. Te cantarle una película animada mirarla sobre la cultura terca. Um, that I have no idea how to pronounce that. Bad cat. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I'll have a look. What is the difference between mage and a wizard? I do not know, actually. Good movie? Yeah. I don't tend to watch that much. I tend to be quite absorbed with my, my work, unfortunately. Genetic, really? Is that the law behind it? <coughs> well, they did put shapes to an early uh, early release, but can't buy it. So yeah, is that in the wild already? They did put shapes to in early release. Uh, no, I think it, it's going to early access later this year. It's not that it's... It's coming to early access. <coughs> is what I, I got from it. My throat is really struggling. I might have to finish soon. Tomek, welcome in. How are you doing? But if we go by the day before, then early access is no go. Now, I'm sure we'll hear about it soon. I saw Nilas play it the, like a, a month or so ago on stream. So it must be gearing up towards something. I'm gonna run this. What are we building today? Uh, Janky Gamer, welcome. How are you doing? We're still working on the water. I've just about finished it, actually. So we're going to have to... 
I'm just doing the logistic lines. And then in the next one, we're going to have to think about what we do next. Um, how do you do? Do a uh, little bit. It's, it's only select people that have it, but they do list it as early access player instantly. Um, which is usually seen when it's a private invite only. Huh, I didn't know that. Well, I'm sure you'll hear about it soon. I must admit, I very much enjoyed Shapes IO. Shapes, I think, was the, um, I think Shapes was the second sponsor to ever support the channel. Which is crazy. Been very lucky. Scribble Nauts game? Scribble Nauts? Never heard of that. New one for me. It's only... It's one of the only games I have ever been excited about in a while. Most of the games have been very meh, to be honest. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3 was awesome, though. I enjoyed Baldur's Gate 3. I wouldn't... I didn't think it was as good as maybe... I first thought it was, and I only say that because I... I didn't get through the whole game. I've only... Well, the thing is, I never have enough time. I would love to get to a point where I'm not working like 10 hours a day because I never get time to really play a game that I want to play and see it through. Aha, uh -huh, knee problems. Um, yeah, uh, it's just the way it's, it's turned out to be. You can just stream it. Well, the thing is that if it doesn't perform well in the channel, which it won't, because it's something totally different, it just, it's not worth it for us. Because we won't get the views and it will not bring in the audience, especially not after its initial hype has died down. It's a, a sad reality. <laughs> the sheer number of objects it would recognize and spawn was amazing. I definitely did a good job with it. I'm sure I'll get a chance to play it again at some point. Sorry guys, I just realized I didn't have that open. Ariman, thank you so much for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. Logistic flaws. 
Um, section one. Ah. Oh. Um. I'm thinking. If we had. Do you need the fuel? No. How do you create diluted package fuel? Is it. It's packaged water that goes to package fuel, and then the package fuel needs to be unpackaged. So we have. Oh, I could have done this differently. Could have done this difficult uh, differently and probably saved myself a fair bit of time. Oh, balls. I'm doing water, packaged water. So we need packages here. Package fuel and water pipe equals fuel. Yeah. Wait, what? Wait, have I done this wrong? Let me just open this. I'm doubting myself now. Where is it? We got our water going to packaged, uh, package uh, residual, or oh, no? Here we go. Package water to the refinery for fuel, and then this needs to be unpackaged to be sent to the plastic and rubber plant, and then the unpackaged stuff being sent here. Okay, we're all right. Could have saved us out some time, but we didn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, my love. You have your meeting now, don't you? Do you want me to get started on the food? Wait, what time you say? Okay. Oh, oh I see. Damn. on PC too, but for some people it just won't run at all and there's no fix for years. Wait, what's that in regards to you? Renner? I guess the audience can be engaged in what goes into the game. It is very popular for that. Yeah. Not all factory people find it interesting. Is this still shapes or is this something else? Go back. Scribble noise. Is this a game that's I think I might have seen it. It's about letters. Oh no, maybe not. I'll be honest, it doesn't really look that appealing to me. From what I can see here. That kind of platform esque. Foundry from Paradox. Oh yeah, Foundry well, Foundry's coming out what in a couple of months to early access. It is. You type in words to do things. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. Oh, it was better, uh, Baldur's Gate 3. I'd, I'd play it, but I just wouldn't stream it. Do you always build with the highest mark belt lift that you have unlocked, or do you just belt the lift mark that is appropriate for the input? Uh, depends. Depends which I have the resources for. We heart games more than anything else. If I can, I'll just do it as the fastest speed. Um, uh, but if I think I'm not, I've not got enough resources then for the whole build, then I'll probably limit certain elements. Knock knock, Leonard. How you doing? Welcome in. Who's there? You, I presume. <laughs> I 
the better factory people with the love shapes only one only town will tell we did we did cover shapes obviously with them being the first one of the first sponsors on the channel and it wasn't a bad reception I think. back let's not crash this time can't remember what we said oh, we have sausage and mash tonight who's there you see we both want to know now <laughs> you're the lady You're the lady who... You're the lady who gonna be... I don't know where this is going. Wait a second. Oh yeah, you're moving now. Okay. Just you're the lady. <laughs> Moving on to Star Wars, are we? Well, there's always room for Star Wars. But I totally understand <coughs> what you mean with uh, it won't catch the views you need. It started some other games and I didn't watch the videos since they were of no interest to me, but yeah, it's catch 22. If you do one game, eventually it will dry out, but if you bring new stuff, it underperforms, it loses, uh, it's a loose, loose situation. Pretty much. <coughs> we need to find games that we can segue to. Like Entrouded next week, that's probably not going to perform that well, but we had a lot of success with Valheim, and there's quite a like, similar audience there. So the hope is that we can capitalize on that, even if it is for a couple of months. I should try some Mando for pizza. Some Mando. Wait, what? Ah, uh, no, guys, let's not talk about food. I'm so hungry right now. But yeah, I'm excited to uh, get some more Entrouders. Uh, on, well, Entrouders on the channel. Uh, thoughts on doing more factory reviews. We will do some more. But now that we're going to... Like, less content. Rather than lots of content. I need to ensure that I have... Like, the, the X amount. Like, let's say... A month to two months worth of... High quality content videos ready. And then I can start looking at doing... Reviews again. Because that takes uh, time out. I'm doing that. Boba Fett, cheese. Pizza the Hut. Oh dear. Here we go. Types of like Star Wars related pizzas. <laughs> the creativity is uh, impressive. But I, I would like to do some more Makushio. It's just fitting it in with the, the new content style that we're going for. Speaking of which, the first big uh, new video that's coming out will be tomorrow. So I hope you enjoy it. I hope you find it interesting. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So if you are joining for that in my, my video, then do hit the uh, do let me know in the comments your thoughts. Into the Hut is from the movie Space Wars, ah! is it? Idosh, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Greatly appreciate it. How are you doing today? Hey, finally a whole year. Nice time. Uh, nice spending time watching you. You're a great content creator. Keep it up. Idosh, uh, thank you so much. That is very kind of you. Um, do let me know. We're going to um, put your name on the third anniversary. So please do let me know what name you'd like to have. 
Thank you so, so much. Vader, I hardly know her. Han Salami? <laughs> oh dear. Well, I will watch at least one stream with Enshrouded. Not heard of it before, and it could be interesting. But no promises after. I understand a little bit. We will still come back to Satisfactory. We'll still keep creating Satisfactory content. But next week will probably be <coughs> a lot of Enshrouded content. And maybe even the week after that. Princess Leia. I really want, like, a cheesy pizza now. Oh. Oh, dear me. Barbecue x wings. Oh, dear me. You're, you're on the, the Star Wars pizza game today. Jar Jar barbecue sauce. <laughs> Triple, triple cheese pizza with pepperoni and kebab. Now, you see, I'm always... If ever I order a pizza, it's going to be barbecue base. It's going to be cheese. It's going to be chicken. It's just such a good combination. But every once in a while, every blue moon, I will go out and I'll say, you know what? I want a vegetable pizza. Just cheese and vegetables. There's something about it that I can't, I can't put my, like, finger on. I normally feel like I need to have, like, a meat, um, associated with my pizzas. But sometimes it's just that, like, vegetable pizzas, the smell, it just reminds me of, like, takeaway pizza as a kid, even though we never had it, I just smell it. And I, I really enjoy that. How could you... Nice Thai food. <laughs> vegetable pizza? Ever had a white pizza? No, not a racial thing. Um, when you say white pizza, do you mean... Like, with, like, a white cheese sauce? Because when we were in Mexico... Uh, not Mexico, but... When I was in Argentina, we'd have something called... Fr... Gas for, for, or if anyone knows, if anyone's from Argentina and can think of the pizza that I'm thinking of, it's like I don't know if it's got like a, a creamy or cheese. I think it's just a cheesy sauce, and it's covered in onions and more cheese. And it's really nice. And they also do this other thing in Argentina, where it's like a, a chippy pizza, and you buy it to go with a slice of pizza and you just put it on top and you eat it and it's just it's really nice it's really different there is no tomato sauce on it but yes cheese is uh thinly sliced potatoes perhaps some mushrooms and stuff but generally the look of white or a normal pizza is red yellowish yeah no i haven't had that um similar to argentinian like forgot oh, i don't know similar to it but it's different with the black sauce? What, what's black sauce? Like pepper? Obi Wan tons. <laughs> oh dear. You guys should do like Star Wars themed wedding food. You know, I think before we get too far ahead, we will pause it here for today. Um, guys, to bacon. Thank you so much for joining us today. I, I hope you've had as much fun as I have. See if you can find one in your area. I was super surprised. I don't think we have. I've never heard of it ever. But I'll, I'll if I see it, I will. I will give it a try. Um, but but guys, yeah. Thank you so much for a, a fun stream today. It's been a little bit crazy earlier on. Uh, we are going to find someone to raid on Twitch today. But guys, if you are on YouTube, please do hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. 
Oh, I've just put YouTube in for some reason. I meant Twitch. Now let's see. We shall go to... Oh, I don't know. I don't know who to raid today. Nay! Man. Now that's taking over the reins. Plutonium, thank you so much for the five gifts. Subs. That's very kind of you. 50% of chat is YouTube. Yes, we're, we're multi-streaming, so it's YouTube and Twitch today. I, I, I do apologize. Um, Smorex popped out to raid. I've not, I've not been in their stream before. Uh, actually, I think we have once, right? Yeah, we can go there. Let's send the love to them. Which is fun. It is total cookie, thank you. Um, yeah, we will raid s'mores. Pop. Tart. So if you enjoy their content, do use the raid message if you've been eclipsed, if you're on Twitch with us. Uh, we're going to head over there now. But guys, thank you so much for an incredible stream. I hope you have a wonderful evening. We will see you on the next stream, which will be Saturday. And then we'll be gearing up for an interesting week with Enshrouded. But guys, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Until next time, as always, Ciao for now.